I'm live. Yes, I'm going to spend the first like minute just messing with my phone. Because <laughs> I'm a jackass. So this one wasn't planned or anything, so I figured I'll just go live for a little bit. Just for the heck of it. Um, I might actually do... Uh, Try to pull the mic towards myself, make my life a little easier. Super loud. Actually, give me a second. I know nobody's here, so it's fine. <clears throat> ah, people are here all of a sudden. I look up and people are suddenly here. Okay. So there wasn't a point to this video, but because technically it is Master Grade Monday and I wanted to do an unboxing, we're going to do uh official unofficial barbatos mg unboxing as it fall to the wayside and i may or may not have someone coming on here in a little bit he said he was going to but i haven't heard back from him in a couple hours so what's going on guys ah see the box oh freaking hold on Forgot autofocus was on. We just had dinner and uh, the enchiladas. We got a very funky aftertaste. Okay. So we have like a pre painted silver runner with pistons and stuff. Mm. Eggs on the floor. Okay. Uh, sticker sheet. What? E runner. The main color runner is an E runner. How interesting is that? Careful not to poke things. I'll pick it up later. So, big old sticker sheet. Too much glare. Can't see. There we go. But color runner, even some green bits for the eyes and whatnot. Expected that. Red parts, definitely backpack, chest. It's not like I haven't done enough barbitosis. Uh, we got a little Mika sitting and standing. That's cool. Chest part. Yellow bits for the shoulders, question mark. That's for the legs. The V fin that I'm not, that I'm not in agreement with. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of that V fin. I don't like the uh, angle of it. So, who knows what I'll do in the future? And yeah, sorry, I can't read the chat right now. I have my things on. Uh, Jerry says, "How was everyone's weekend?" That's well, still going. There's that. I need to get a hold of one of these kits yet. Let's get one. Dropping more stuff. All right, clear runner for knees and stuff. You guys want to hear it? The sound of the runner. What is that? Okay, so that's the chest, shoulders, and knees. Okay. And weapons runner. The kind of brownish, brownish black. Brown black color. We got sword and uh, mace handle. Spiky bit. Parts of the mace. I assume there's more parts of this somewhere because that's obviously not the whole thing. Some gun, it looks like. Ah, swirly gold plastic stuff. What kit is this? What does it look like, Eric? Like I said, this is an impromptu sort of video. This isn't all it's going to be. I'm just knocking this out just for the heck of it. Tiny little, tiny, tiny little foil sticker sheet. Don't want to lose that. We got the blue for 
the blue parts. I don't remember where the blue parts are. I think on the chest and stuff. Definitely near the cockpit, right? Uh, whatever happened to the Gundam Beyond color swap kits? No idea. Why are you asking me? Oh, I can't tell. Should be able to tell, Eric. Especially about his next one. We got uh, shoulder armor, legs. I think those are the calf thrusters, thighs, shoulder armor, forearm armor. That's the ankle guard, top of the foot, heel. Obviously, I've done a few of these. Well, not the MG, obviously, but you can see there. Does that help you? Does that leg part help you out there, Eric? Actually, a lot more runners than I expected. I don't actually know the Gundam. Oh, those Gundam Beyond things. I don't know that they were actually going to make anything with that. To be totally honest. Took me a minute. Okay, so I got hands, hands, legs, butt skirt. Hard to tell what these bits are. That looks like spine. No. So it could be. Maybe back of the leg. Really hard to tell with some of these bits. Legs, hands, arms, things. That's not bad. Ugh. Seriously, nasty aftertaste. I miss your third party legend reviews. They're still there, buddy. I don't have hard. I don't have new ones right now. I mean, I have two. I just haven't reviewed them yet. Okay, so we got chest, definitely chest, head, head parts, face parts, other bits. That looks familiar. Hose that goes around. That's cool. Yeah, I'm not doing a, a great unboxing. I don't really care. <laughs> it's like, I don't really care about this being a good unboxing. This is about hanging out. I'm just multiple birds. That's all this is. Needed a video for today. Yesterday, it was storming all day. So I didn't get a chance to film because the window is literally right behind my review set. And if it's storming and literally raining right outside the window, you're going to hear that more than me. So any kind of video I would have done would have been drowned out by rain. Uh, those are back of the leg hoses. Those are feeties, hips. Mm, not entirely certain with some of these little bits. That's a thumb. Straight thumb. That's interesting. Oh, uh, ends of pistons. Those are cool. Interesting. Look at all the beats. Way more parts. So, of course, I've only built the, uh, the, uh, full mechanics lupus so i haven't done a another 1 100 version of a ibo gundam before and obviously this is a master grade so parts count's gonna be way higher oh. you're supposed to be on the floor bag oh there's the rest of the weapons runner and some more leg armors Okay, so this is gun parts. So big old ridiculous gun. Oh, charge notification for my phone. Stay. Rest of the strangely stylized mace. Like it is a little bit stylized for, for that initial mace. Actually, just Barbatos in general is slightly start is a uh, slightly stylized here. Um and I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this in the future because it could, could be the Ikea Gundam that I want to build. So there's a repeat, repeat armor runner, white stuff, white stuff runner. My back hurts, by the way. I'm, it's like, I can't wait to put this back in the box so I can sit better. It, cur it currently hurts. Ran Random Man 3. I'm currently working on weapons for my Banshee. Hey, building things. Oh, oh, you're still working on your banshee. 
Sorry, obviously I'm not used to your YouTube name. I'm, I'm, I don't know if you saw, but I've got set up two weeks from now another Zoom stream if you want to join in for a build night. Ooh, that's a, that's a rear thruster. There's two of them, so I guess that's one for each side of the backpack. That's right. Lupus had one, I think, so. Cool. Cool. Yeah, this is already way more parts than I expected. Yes, that really does happen. I don't do these things for the camera. You, my screw-ups are always natural. All right, big old leg chunks. We got leg bits, probably hips. Uh, knee joints, I guess. That's weird. Arms. Okay, so that's the arm frame. Weird. Like having built so many HG versions of IBO Gundams, like you try to look for the bits and pieces that this is like splitting up. And yeah, repeat runners. So no point in showing that off too. Um, I'll keep my eye out. Yeah, I'll put. I'll post about it. Okay, so I'm gonna put all this garbage back in the <laughs> back in the box. Which, by the way, is a really large box given runner size. It's like it's almost like oop, hello. It's almost like a chip bag that's got way more space than there is chips. You're really just making up room for the uh, for the air on the bags. Because I mean, look, like those, most of those don't even split the difference across the box. Though it is annoying. I guess it looks like they gated this well enough. Yeah. So all the gates are on parts that you're probably not going to see. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? And you know, it's not chrome, it's just silverized. And I really like that. And it's very much like tell me a silver leaf. So even if I need to fix that for some reason, I can. Now hold on. I gotta gotta ever so slightly clean up my mess here. Now I can scooch forward and lean on the table, which is better for my back. I'm an old man sometimes. <laughs> Seriously nasty taste. Um, no, nope, not going to stream anything else. Um, cause I, I did address that the other day or yesterday. Well, cause I don't want to start another series and then have to stop doing that when divers comes back. So I'd rather just go back to the old school, regular live streams until the series returns. Tattoo toy hunter, man. What's going on? Hey. You were in my city and you didn't even hit me up, buddy. I'm out of you. Yeah. Should have hit me up. Come to my town. Don't even say nothing. And Del Rodriguez, what's up? Said that I missed that. Ended up working 20 plus hours this weekend. That sucks. Okay, so... Wow. All right. Oh, those weren't hips. Those were the... Uh, Main parts for the torso and reactor area. That's crazy. I can't. Like I can't. Uh, pretend you can see the instructions. Hi, Ozzy. When does divers come back? Nobody knows, Joey. They literally have not told anybody. That would be the problem. There's no telling when it'll come back. They'll probably like two, maybe two weeks out. I would guess they would probably tell you. Okay, in two weeks, divers returns. Not my best idea. Okay, so I tried to make a Gundam fly yesterday. Uh oh. The downdraft from my drone blew the wings clean off my MG Wing Zero endless waltz. What? Last second hunt in a week or so. Got me back there four days. Hit me up, man. If you're going to be in H Town, you need to hit me up. We'll go toy hunting. I'll come, I'll come down to H-Town proper. We'll go, we can go around. Working on Barbatos. Not working on at the moment, just opening. This is kind of an impromptu unboxing since I did not do the unboxing video yesterday. I'm like two episodes behind. Well, get after it, Anthony. And make sure you're watching all of our live stream reviews. I did see a guy yesterday 
So people talked about the fact there's not a lot of people reviewing the series. I saw a guy, don't I do not even remotely remember the channel name, who not reviewing the entire series, but was talking about just the battle uh, between uh, Alice and Hirito from the last episode. Ooh, there we go. Some Barbatosi stuff. Before and after. Yeah, let me fix that VFN. Diver's done again. No, it's not done. It's on hiatus because... Oh, those are the elbows. I forgot the elbows. Um, I, I've seen more lupus and lupus rex than standard barbatos. Like, and part of me wonders if they'll do like they're doing with like the F91 and they'll just give us upgrade armors for the basic one. So get us up to like the uh, six version, stuff like that. Because, I mean, those are just add-on parts and armor swaps for the same exact Gundam. I think that would be neat if they did that. It will probably be P-Bandai, but... <sighs> I think everybody's just waiting around for the Verka reveal at the end of the week, right? Right. And a person I talked to the other day told me they already know what it is. And, I mean, I, I think there's a lot of discussion already what it's going to be. I know what I want it to be, and I don't really care if it's the other thing. Because <laughs> I don't care about that Gundam at all. It's like, I want it to be the Atlas. It probably won't be the Atlas, but I think that would be their best move. <sighs> it's awesome. I just started on MG Barbatos as commission build today. Going to be in the LA Lakers colors. That's interesting. Yellow, purple. <laughs> I just said that, Carlos. Well, have a good stream. I'm going to go watch Double Zeta. Oh, just, don't come and hang out or anything. I was going to say, if you're working on your thing, I can shoot you a link and you can come join in. If you want. Because Arthur was possibly going to join me in a little bit. Actually, I need to make sure. Okay, I did send I'm making sure I sent him the link. So I had to click away. Okay. Excited to see all of the announcements coming this week. We're supposed to have a week of announcements from Bandai. Yeah, the first part of the week of announcements is just more RG Evas. Meh. Cool sniper gun, not going to lie, but I don't really care about the Evangelion kits at all. I'm just saying that. I mean, nothing to me. Um, yellow, purple, and black. Interesting. Most likely I could. Well. Shoot me a message. I can, uh, I can send you a link on on the uh, the old thingy. Obviously, you don't need an app or anything. You just need a. Well, you'd be off your computer anyways. I saw. I I got a, a hint of your setup. I'm putting on my headphones just in case. Um. Can't decide what to do with the inner frame. Uh, well, I assume it's going to be mostly black with purple and gold, quote unquote. Uh for the armor and details. I don't know. I don't know what would look good under there. Silver? Because it depends on how much you want the armor to stand out. Obviously, original Barbatos was more naked than the others. Um, it's weird. Uh, I, th I don't know what it will be, uh, Carlos. I feel like I'm talking a lot. Sorry. Um... I know what I want it to be because we had the discussion way back when we talked about reveals. I thought that Barbatos was going to be the Verka that was uh, supposed to be coming. Obviously not. Um, but the uh, G-Self is supposed to be the thing that was going to be the next Verka. Um, and then we got the uh, Faz instead. I want it to be the MG Atlas from Thunderbolt because I think that would be fantastic and actually give you a really good reason to have that kit. Um, sorry, Arthur just got back to me there. Uh, hold on. What are you talking about, uh, Marlon? Gunmetal. I mean, yeah, you could definitely do gunmetal or just like a normal like German gray or something like that. 
or do what I do, uh, go matte black and then rub it down with gunmetal powder and it gives it more of an iron color. Like an older, older iron color. It's really fun. MG Atlas would be awesome. And like, I have been campaigning for that, like for a long time. I was like, <clears throat> some people were saying they would like, uh, Exia. I was like, I don't want a Verka Exia. Not going to lie. Unless they fix the, uh, fix the feet, like actually change things up a little bit. Um, the diver streams. What do you mean? Just how have they been? They've been fine. They were good. We were getting pretty good views. Um, so that's why it sucks. We were, we had pretty good, pretty good thing going. Uh, the last one, of course, was a week late, so we didn't have as many active views. Uh, but we skipped out on Mother's Day stuff like that. So we we're doing good. It's fun. We don't need another Exia kit. No, we need an improved Exia kit. Sorry, I got a song stuck in my head right now. Sing about doing uh sing about doing like music reviews to some degree. Cause I've been checking out a lot of YouTube artists. Um that's a lot of fun. Wow, 20 people watching me just bullshit. That's cool. Um but I was thinking about doing that maybe over on a second channel because I know how people really don't like stuff on uh on this channel that doesn't really pertain to big robot things. A G self, they've had a G self MG prototype for years at this point. Safest bet. No, they haven't. <laughs> no, not Gundam music review, like music, music. <laughs> Sound like a G one cutaway jingle. What did? <laughs> Carl. Maybe something chameleon. Oh, you're still on that interframe thing. Um, no, no. Does not need to be chameleon. Because you've already got enough colors going on. Um, you need something subdued that's going to stay in the background. Because um, it's an inner frame. You don't really go nuts with that. You know, you don't want it to stand out more than your armor. And like, yeah, you you want a darker color than your your outer color. So, uh, I mean, you could do gunmetal. I just don't like it to look super metallic. Like I've done gunmetal frames before. I personally don't like it, but obviously it's not for me. Um, I like the older, worn metal look rather than uh, gunmetal. That's why I do do it the way I do. Rub, rub down uh, matte black. Uh, what? Work in progress. Curious Phantom Jewel just arrived. What? I wonder if they'll do a Verka Age kit. That would be cool. I mean, it just depends on what they would do. I mean, a, a Verka Age 1 would probably go over best. But a Verka Age 1 full glance would be badass. Ah, damn it. I keep knocking things over. Yeah, that's different, Joey, and you know it. Verka Age Effects. Get that garbage out of here. Age Effects is terrible. It's like, that's my least favorite Age Gundam. Like, 2 is very finicky, but FX, I just... It has one gimmick. It's like, oh, hey, I got funnels. Uh, what do you do? Um, I feel like the age three was actually a better Gundam because it actually had abilities, you know, had, had stuff. She swapped the parts and whatnot. It's like, they're like, Oh, let's get away from the actual gimmick of this thing. And we'll just go ahead and step it up to a one note, a one note machine. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how much help I was, but. They have an MG already, so it might be a possibility. Yeah, you are full of questions today, Marlon. Do you think uh, at this point May will get an upgraded suit? I hope so. Uh, 
I mean, I like the wood on pod, but they've shown off everybody else's upgraded suit so far and teased it and shown the kits. So I don't know. I don't know if she will. Maybe she'll just get more weapons. Uh, MGH FX already had a prototype that was canceled. Yeah. Age FX and age three, both had prototypes that were shown off like seven years ago, something like that. And they were never made for some inexplicable reason, but you know what? Bandai doesn't always make the things. Even though age MGs tend to sell out like that, you know, and they never did any vegan suits, which was a huge, huge shame because like, they could have so many good kits in the MG line if they would just do it. HFX had a glowy blue awaken mode or whatever it's called. Yeah, no, that was stupid. Our <laughs> um, Verkos suit only for UC. At this point, I think so. Right, Joey? I was gonna say I don't I don't think they've done any Verkas outside of the UC. No, no, wing. There was a wing Verka. So yeah. Yeah, exactly. I just said that. Uh MG Legulus, yeah, or or Legulus, however you want to say it. Legulus. Yeah. Uh crossbones. Crossbones is technically UC though, right? Isn't it? <sighs> yeah. Joey's about two seconds behind me every time. <laughs> so every question, Joey's like two seconds right behind me. Late, you see. It's in the cross. It's in the crossbone timeline. No, it's still technically. Uh, it's still technically UC. But I mean, Katoki did a lot of things. So, I mean, just be whatever he wants it to be. I know it's a lag in the chat. I just find it funny. I mean, you should be seeing the chat as quickly as I do. Consider a junked out double Zeta appears. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I haven't checked. I, haven't, I don't know. I, I know nothing of Crossbone except I built one and I don't want to ever build one again. But I'm actually before you. But are you? You won't even come on in in the in the stream, Joey. I could send you the link, and you wouldn't come on because you're a poopy head. That's right. Calling you out, Joey. Calling you a poopy head. Uh, I don't either, and my kit is still sitting unbuilt in my backlog. Yeah. Well, I mean, I won't tell anybody to not build it. I just don't want to build one again. I am, in fact, a doo-doo head. See? You know. Um, that being said, I wouldn't mind doing the... Uh, the uh, What is it? Uh, zero. The crossbone zero. Silver one. I just think it looks cool. Actually, or the X-Zero. That's what it is. Uh, the X-2 looks fine. Um... Actually, I, I like the not like there's two different versions of the X2 and the main one is one I like. I just like that color scheme. I think it looks cool. Um, Verka is the lone wolf. Yeah, there you go. Shots fired. I'm just going at everybody. Started yesterday and I'm just going at everybody now. Uh -huh. Except Joey's a friend. And yes, I'm, I'm drinking a really nice seltzer. Nice lime seltzer from a local brewery. It's actually very nice. I just didn't want to drink too heavily. Because at this particular moment, I don't even know if I'm working tomorrow. I shouldn't be working tomorrow. Because my normal schedule is Tuesday through Saturday. So if a Monday holiday happens where everybody else is off, they tend to roll our holidays to Tuesday. But the last couple of years, they haven't. Uh, donde esta la Joey? I'm sending him a link anyways. I called him out. We'll see what happens. 
The unboxing art will probably be joining eventually. He was grilling in stuff earlier. But either way, um, I do look forward to the, the Barbados, as it were. So, and yes, I'm, as always, playing with my silly putty. Or uh, sticky tack or blue tack. The not the not blue tack, the white tack. Um, but yeah, I got to get back to doing reviews. I got to get the 30-minute mission things done. Um, I did finish off this guy, so look forward to that. Um, I was working on a vlog yesterday up until it got like super rainy, stuff like that. I will have a Transformers review up on Thursday um, for my latest one that I got. Um, which is actually, uh, I skipped over the two Legends ones that I have. Um, I have ordered more Beast Boxes, for those who were wondering, uh, who do like the Beast Box reviews. I ordered about five more, uh, either new or uh, remolds or recolors. Um, and before I ship, I'm probably going to order a couple more. I'm just putting them in my... Uh, my uh, box of loot at uh, or pile of loot rather at Big Bad Toy Store, um, and I'm constantly keeping an eye on the New Age section to uh, <clears throat> hold on. Why did he message me that? Oh, yeah, he doesn't have a... Uh, Devastator coming up also. Wait, are you planning a kit for me? Actually, you could join in too if you want. Yeah, eventually I'll have that. Sorry, I'm pulling up my messenger because the uh, pages messenger takes a minute to go through. I don't know if you've used stream. Sorry. Okay. I was in a zoom. We both told Brian to order them. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's not what I meant. Because uh, I was talking about the regular kind of transforms. It's like, how do you know I have a Devastator coming? Well, that's assuming Brian ordered them. He seemed like he was having an issue. He didn't get back to me. Uh, Curios is good. Yeah, I'm waiting on Curios, obviously. Um, and I've mentioned it before, but I don't know how many people have seen it. I don't know what Double October this year will look like because there's like nothing. I'm going to put together what I can, but it might be like only a week's worth of content instead of a month. Uh, MG Lupus Rex would be sweet. Sorry, I uh, skipped up some comments there. All right. Maybe the Verka announcement. Riser, what's up, buddy? Uh, maybe the Verka announcement. Empty Barbatos Lupus Rex Verka. That would be weird. They need to do Lupus first. Um, if you mix some blue tech with Silly Putty, it helps the paint f fall on the blue tech, makes it last longer. That's odd. Uh, that was, I hope the MG curious, of course, it'll be good because I said so. Uh, I'd like them to finish out the first season. They will. Don't worry about that. Um, anyone working on anything interesting? No, because the contest is over. Make a double O, make another double O custom shoot for double October. <sighs> I mean, I've got too many other projects. I can't just throw on another one. La last year's was easy because, well, easy. Because I uh, had something to go off of this year, I don't. Now, of course, I'll take you know some uh, submissions, so to speak. But I don't know; it's going to be hard. There's not a lot going on. Hold on a sec; I got to add you in. Oop, there's a Joe Guns as well. I have multiple people joining me in. Okay, there's one. Make sure your Hello. audio is good. I can't testing, hear. testing. There you are. Ah. And then we have a Joe Guns slightly out of frame over here. Let's go this way. I don't know if I can hear you, Joey. Oh, hello. Hi. There we go. 
I, think I, see, that, I see that Zeon flag. See Zeon. Yes. <laughs> yeah. If you're, if you're if you're kind of new, you don't know Joey. I do not. Yeah. Who clearly needs a haircut? Oh my God. Yes. Uh, I'm, like you're I'm, looking super shaggy, my friend. I know. I'm thinking about just letting it go. Are you gonna? You could do man bun by now. You, uh, you no, got, not quite. It looks like you're getting quite. close. You can go top knot. I could. I could go top knot. You could do top knot. Turn the sides down. Yeah. Yeah, turn the side down, go top now. I think it would look good on you. I think I'm just going to go full on Grizzly Adams. No, don't go full on Hermit. <laughs> Today was well, the you... first time that I've left my apartment on my own um, in several, two, two and a half months. Wow. Yeah, you, you've been on real lockdown, but realistically, you were kind of set. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was good to go. He could actually manage it yeah i like how you put joe guns in there <laughs> some people so they know yeah well longtime viewers of the channel are know who you are he's one of my regulars this is a newbie over here he, he jumped in on the uh on the stream the other night for building purposes quarantined in a semi-clean robot yes I forgot that was still my name set. Okay. Your name is now Corin for short. <laughs> Not you can Sam. just call me Sam. Yeah. It's Sam. He's just fucking <laughs> Corin. He was other Sam the other night because we already had a Sam. We have a well established one. Uh, Brian said he emailed his rep, damn it, for the Devastators, but likely won't hear back till this week. That's stupid. I think the uh, bad she looks beautiful with a flat top coat. Yeah. Yep. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Can I hold it up again? Oh. I enlarged your screen. I always forget how to do these things. Yeah, looks good. Now uh, I've always go, now I I've, I've built obviously I built my my fair share of, of uh unicorn Gundams, but I couldn't tell the difference between the Verkov version and the regular one. Uh the Verkov version has uh I actually I found out most of them right now, uh, the other day. The Verka has you know the, the <clears throat> unicorn shield, whereas the regular version doesn't. Oh, you mean and, Banshee uh, though? Oh, what? Yeah, but you mean the Banshee? Oh, you mean... about, so like unicorn to unicorn because I had the full armor oh. Verka and like build wise, I couldn't tell any difference in the kits. Joey, I, I heard finger. that I heard that the uh, in the Verka, I heard they did something different in the waist. I, I, I'm not sure, but that's what I heard. Joey um, will tell us. Okay, so uh, the Verka came out first. That was the original Unicorn. Um, it had a lot of problems in articulation, especially in the knees due yeah. to the armor um, on the sides yeah. of the legs and the armor on the back that's like the little flappy pull-out thingy. I hate that thing. Yeah, uh, the waist also like barely turned. Um, so when they made the OVA version, they improved it by uh, cutting back some of the armor details um, and kind of uh, shortening <clears throat> some of the sticky outy parts around the knee. Uh, they also changed up the waist gimmick, uh, so it will rotate a little bit better. And then also, the OVA version has head Vulcans. The more which you know. One, which one is the OVA version? Uh, the OVA version is like, uh, there's one that was released on its own, but there's also the one that comes with the big cage. Yeah, I have the, I had the HD color MS cage version is the one yeah. I did. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That. Oh, yeah, and by the way, they're now selling the MS cage by itself, P-Bandai. Uh, it's not P Bandai. It's uh, Gundam Base. Gundam yeah. Base. I, I consider it the same. The the annoying one to get. The the what harder to get. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no, because I built I built the HD color and then I built the uh, full armor. So were yeah. those two similar? Or uh, no. So the the full which, armor. What's the difference between those two? The full armor is based on the Verka. Well, obviously but, it says Verka. Uh, but it came with the upgraded parts for the legs and uh -huh. waist. So the, you, you get the improvement in articulation, uh, but it doesn't have head Vulcans. Hmm. Or at least it shouldn't. I don't even know that I noticed. But I mean, build-wise, it's exactly the tiny. same. Oh, yeah. Build-wise, yeah. exactly I mean, the same. I, I could imagine yeah, tiny details. Like I mean, I knew the head Vulcans were there. Yeah. Because uh, obviously you see them when you build it. But like construction-wise and build-wise, like for the most part, you probably can swap stuff no problem. Yeah, with the exception yeah. of the tiny fitment issues in there, but I assume that they were frame-wise the same. 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, the the waist rotation and that stupid extension clippy thing. I hate that. Oh, like, same. And the fact that they, you know, carried that on with other suits is kind of annoying. It's like it's like, hey, they're actually bar using the same technology, even in the kits. Um Nope, those are just about clones. What are you talking about, Rising? <clears throat> I was reading other things. Oh, maybe run a double O custom contest or custom montage thing. I don't care if people want to submit double October things. Obviously, I did that before. I did that last year. I finished it out with everybody else's builds. Yep. Um, Thomas, you could join in if you want. I don't care. You're not being excluded. I just you tend to do things with family and whatnot. Some of us don't have that problem. I mean, luxury, luxury, luxury. Um, I'm gonna try to make converse, a conversion kit for Ultra Saber brand lightsaber to make a Gundam Double O beam saber pretty soon. Why don't you just see if Ultra Saber can make it? It's like, just contact them. They could probably make it happen. I guarantee you at least one of them over there is a Gundam fan. It will know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. I mean, the Ultra Sabers makes a lot of stuff. So, I mean, it wouldn't be that hard for them to... And everything's CNC cut or 3D printed. So, I mean, it wouldn't be that hard. That would be kind of cool, actually. Probably expensive. Okay, somebody sent me a message or something. What? What, no, what is? What is happening now? Okay. Uh, never mind. It, it's for some reason I came across Messenger, but it was a comment. I don't know why. Weird. Yeah. Oh, that was on the uh, Eagle Moss build a couple I'm, weeks ago. I'm hoping they uh, rewave the Banshee Norn Master Grade eventually. They will. Yeah. They, they're already re they're re redoing so many of those P Bandai kits, like re-releasing them like every other month or so. So I, I assume they will. Yeah, but hopefully they do because that, that thing is just killing on the secondary market. It's Wait, what? Grade. What if the next Verka is just the Banshee Norn? I, I I would be happy. <laughs> that would be so dumb. But you know what's funny is you know how you how the Verka is built with the unicorn shield and stuff. Yeah, that that's just how I built my Banshee. The regular Banshee comes with everything to make Does a it? unicorn. Yeah. My my original Banshee has a unicorn shield and uh I don't I don't have the arm parts on it anymore. Yeah. It does not come with the beam rifle or bazooka. Okay, oh, we I don't thought, need I, that. I didn't have the shield but you got the there. shield and all that. It does oh, have the shield. Because yeah. of the head parts, everything. Hmm. So now you can build it from the Verka and do it again. I mean, yeah, it's the regular. Plan. Yeah. Oh, the plan is I gotta build this one. I'm actually, pay yeah. uh, I'm, well, I'm dumb. I should have. I just painted the cycle frame. I realized that they're right here. Yeah. Um. Silly I'm way. making it the awakened mode. Yeah. Um. But no, it is funny that because you you even get the unicorn head and all that. So yeah. It's like it's kind of fun that you can do that. I like those extra parts in there. So that's how I displayed mine with the shield and everything because I thought it looked cooler. Plus, I traded the claw parts away. All right. Uh, yeah, a guy needed them for a custom he was building, so I traded him for some other parts and threw in some extra stuff. Um, so mine only has the uh, the other thing, the weird whip thing, laser yes. laser whip funnel contraption. Laser whip? Well, it doesn't fire straight. It actually can like go in different directions and stuff. It's, it's a, weird. It's a beam smart gun. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't go in a straight line when it fires it can because it's a smart gun smart gun it shoots in other directions <laughs> it's not a whip well it kind of acts like a whip watch it whip it because it comes out and it's like and like it acts like a whip joey i don't know what it was i just know what it did i don't care rail gun it's not a rail gun that's for sure shoki says it's a whip i say nay nay <laughs> Oh, look, Joey fell out. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's the first time Joey's been set aside for a minute for having bad puns. So one. I think I need to build probably at least three more unicorn kits yeah. to complete my collection, I believe. I need to build another regular unicorn so I can have a red cycle frame in destroy mode. Uh, 
I need to build the Banshee Norn, and I need the narrative version of the Phoenix. Got to get those tails. Yeah, I don't. I, I realize that the difference between the narrative version and the old old Phoenix uh, was like the manga version or something like that. What it was? Um, yeah, it was it didn't have the tails. Yeah, the gold is also a different shade. Is it? Yeah. yeah. So the yeah. normal release is kind of a silvery gold, and the P Bandai NT version is like mm-hmm. a yellow gold. Oh, okay. It's super yeah. pretty. I definitely don't need that. I need it. I, I hated building the original one. I didn't want to build it again. <laughs> I, I really like it. And then it's not I, bad. I just yeah. hated building it. Oh, okay. That's I hated building it. It's not saying it's terrible. I just yeah. hated building it. But I actually added a gold wash to the uh, psycho frame. Oh, so okay. like little bits stood out with some shiny Ooh. gold paint on top of the blue. That was pretty nice. It was just a random thought. I was like, hey, I wonder if I could do this. And it's just like, Gundam marker on the thing and then wiped it away. I'm lucky it just didn't eat straight through it, you know? Yeah, I painted my Phoenix Cycle Frame bright blue just to make it stand out more because that it's a master. I know. Incident. I've yeah. seen it. It's true, you have. It's a contest entry. <laughs> Which sadly, Joey didn't get to compete this year. Yep. Yep. Because that's, yep. that's how we met, it was the first contest. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, lupus for lupus. Because you you had you had entered, and then I forget. I guess you were making comments or something like that, and then I invited you on to uh, just chit chat. Yeah, I think that was I think that was how it went down. Yeah, so we started talking, and then you came on to do a nerd nerdcast one on one that went forever. <laughs> like. Just the recorded one was like three and a half hours, and I think we talked for another three. Mm, I think you and I yeah. legit talked for like seven hours that day. Yeah, yeah. So that's why Joey and I are friends. Dad and we poke at each other politically. Yes, we do. Yeah, not a lot of that lately, though. Dude, I'm I've given up on. I'm just politics I'm just, on Facebook. I'm just worn out on it. I, like, me it too. Just, me too. It, it, I, I, I'm done poking those fires, so I decided to come to my channel and just start shit, I guess. The scope does not want to stay together, so it's getting glued. Glue that bitch. What is it? That's oh, the, the scope. Sc- yeah, scope. the beam magnum. I thought you said sculpt. Oh. Predictions for the next... You're not... Re- what? What are you trying to... Say? Oh, I guess... Let's see. The Wing P Bandai Rosette. I think Carl's having issues typing. I guess he was talking about the next... Uh, the next weird... Wing P Bandai? After yeah. the Rosette. So oh, after the Rosette. Yeah, we're going to get the Sand Rock with the Armadillo armor. That's like, duh. Yay. <laughs> um, I mean... I, I'm going to get it because <laughs> I'm a wing nut, but... Um, I need that on a shirt. Wing nut? Yeah, but it's like just the Gundam Wing's head on top of a nut. Please don't. Yeah. What kind of nut? Like an actual, like, not that nut. I mean, like a, a, like a screw-on nut. Like an actual wing nut? Yeah. Okay. Like literal, about as literal as the pun can get. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. Get it for you. Oh, gee, thanks. To, to go with your uh, hashtag nub shaming shirt. Yeah. Yeah, good thing you're not trying to order that now. It'd take three months to get to you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So does all, I, that, does huh? all that come from does all that come from overseas? I thought it does it was... now. The American factory is closed currently. Oh, so okay. the shirt I ordered well over a month ago is somewhere because it was made in the overseas factory, which is in the in Europe. So it's probably on a ship. Sitting somewhere. Damn, my battery is just draining for some reason. Let me turn my phone off. I think um, out of all the unicorns I've done so far, I've never actually built the beam magnum on any of them outside of this one. Because uh, I hate building question. weapons. Oh, Everybody you does. suffer from weapon weapons fatigue. Yes. Yeah. And so, now I've got at one point I've got to go through and build what's he one, two, three more 
beam magnums at least. Have you built yep. the have you have you built the full armor? Yes. Did you have to take a break or did you just not finish the weapons? I just haven't finished the weapons. I had I to mean, build outside the, the, outside the beam weapons. magnum. I mean I I have the whole backpack done and all that. Yeah. <laughs> he um, just hates the beam magnum. He built everything else. I, I never like to display things with the beam magnum. In fact, even I've got the uh uh, I, I, the pack right yeah, here. you showed out the backpack the other day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the one um, the banshee I'm going to paint. Did you yeah. build all the Gatlings? They are right here. Yeah, because he, he made a post the other day of trying to see if there was a way to mount the shields. So oh, you did see that. You... I see everything. <laughs> I'm so in you... all the groups. <laughs> Fair enough. You've, you, built, you built six Gatling guns, but you can't manage to build one. One. <laughs> No, he can't manage to build three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he's been avoiding building any of them. Well, to be fair, most of them just have no lock anymore, and they just fall open, and, and their ammo drops out. That is my biggest issue with the Master Grade weapons. I glue, I glue them all shut at this I, point. I almost never display my things with the weapons on display, usually, so that's why I just never did. Yeah. Them. That's, I mean, it's fair. I'm hearing excuse after it's excuse. dumb, but it's fair. Okay, oh, I, 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 I even, I even talked about the too. other boxes I've got all behind me in a drawer, <laughs> still with the weapons to be built. Yeah, what are you working on, Joey? Just hold up the runner, don't say what it is. Let's see if we can tell. I am so confused right now. That's an HG. Yep. Uh. Is that upright or is that sideways? Well, which direction are you currently holding the runner? J, it's J2, which you should be able to read. Well, I can't. Okay. But it's... One, I have a blinding light in my eyes. Two, it's small. Yeah, I can see it's a J2 runner. Oh, right, that's... So I'm uh, holding it upright. Uh, they're saying... Uh, yeah, by Arlent. By Arlent. Night Gundam. I didn't think it was a Night Gundam. Which version of the Bielant? Bielant. Uh, that's not the custom. No, it's the it's the normal just Zeta version. Yeah, it looks like the regular one. Yeah, didn't look like the newer one either. Those beam rifles are wonky anyway. Yes, yes, they are. So it is what it is. Okay, I'll I'll un un solo Joey here. You've been unsoloed. That's good. I don't like to go solo. So my my hobby store I go to, uh, they uh, are getting a a, a, gu a Gumpa base uh, kit in pretty soon. It's out already. It's on pre-order at least. Uh, it's a clear color justice. Oh yeah. Um, get, guess who's gonna scoop that up as soon as they get it? It's not even gonna hit the shelf. You? Yes. The guy who works there. I was like, yeah, I was gonna say the guy who <laughs> the works guy there. That wor the guy that works there is scooping it off the shelf for me. Um, we have a the place Japan house that I've talked about before. Um, they have a ton of Gundam base exclusives. Obviously, somebody either put in a huge order or went there. It is called Japan House, so uh, presumably they can order straight. Uh, but uh, their all of their prices were super high. They wanted thirty five dollars for the SDCS uh, G three. I'm like. <laughs> No, I was like, I want that kit, but I'm not paying three and a half times what it's worth. Yeah, it's that... cheaper than flying to Japan. By the way, I was supposed to be in Japan this week. I yeah. am not happy. Yeah, I thought you were supposed to go back. Yeah, I, no, I, 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 oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to spend a week in Japan. And I, so I'm very angry right now. <laughs> but anyway. well. You know, if only there wasn't some kind of fake thing out there keeping the world from functioning. Yeah, I, I wanted to go to uh, Japan in uh, October to see the Walking Gundam or the moving one or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, that's the, been postponed walking. too. Yeah, yeah, they quit. I think they just kind of stopped working on it. You know, my my original idea was uh, so it like opens up on October first. Oh. That 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 is my well, it was supposed to, and that was my birthday, so I was going to go there. On my birthday and see it when they open it up, yeah. but that's not a, anymore. That's a that's a great that's a great comment, Jerry. <laughs> sort of, he unsoloed himself. 
another unicorn to build. Yeah, we talked about the perfectibility yeah. Saturday night. That just that's for people who hate themselves. That, uh, that's on my list of things I have to get. But Joey Carlos wants to know where you were planning on visiting in in Nihon. Uh, just a week in Tokyo, all over the place in Tokyo. Yeah. Um, we were hoping to get there. Um, originally we were hoping to get there for cherry blossom season. But I think we missed that anyway, because it's in April, is it? Isn't it? I think so. Beginning of the year, yeah. springish, yeah. right after winter. Uh, and then I just stayed um, at something obvious. <laughs> it's in spring. It's right after winter. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, we were gonna visit like shrines and everything. I don't know all the touristy shit. All the touristy shit. Yeah. Yeah. So how how is she doing, by the way? She's doing Ooh. good. Um, yeah. I think she's uh, I think she's finally going a little crazy, a little stir crazy. Yeah. Because she's never worked from home before. Oh wow! Well. And, like, and you're the her... exact op- you're the exact opposite. Well, you're you're a hermit crab. You're fine. It 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 wasn't until I was kind of forced into working from home. Yeah. Because like I like going to the office and just hobnobbing with people like i don't i don't like people but like you know it's nice to get out and like have meaningless conversations in quick bursts so i look like a normal human being (laughs) yeah joey's uh, joey's very not normal Hmm. do i want to ask why not uh have you watched the anime parasite (laughs) i have not have you watched the movie parasite I have not. <laughs> not the same thing. No. <laughs> not the same thing. Or are you trying to Except say you're for... a parasite of people? No, no, no. He's talking about the characters of parasite. Yeah. Uh, it's on my list of things I've got to watch. Jo- Joey's what some people would call a hermit. An, okay. Or a shut in. Oh, yeah. Um, but not in a bad way. Yeah, no. In, uh, a, in, a, in a pleasant, like, you would go. You would climb the mountain to go visit said hermit. Yes. Yeah, he's someone you would go to see, but definitely wouldn't come to see you. Oh yeah. For for ancient Gumpla nerd secrets. Kind of. Yeah. So I keep him around to correct me on all the things I get wrong. So so he's he's your wise man above the mountain. Got it. Wise man of the mountain. I'm actually I'm the wise man at the base of the mountain. I'm not climbing that high. <laughs> well, we assume that you did it when you were younger. No, not even. I did no. see that younger picture of you that you posted the other day. <laughs> right? I, I was like, oh, look at Joey. <laughs> With those little short shorts. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Uh, <sighs> I'm I'm trying desperately to collect a bunch of kids of uh, a bunch of pictures of me as a kid. That's <laughs> like you might want to correct that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm and desperately it, trying to collect a bunch of kids. Okay, this went a totally different direction now. Freudian slip. That's a different project. Anyway, <laughs> moving forward. Now you know why you wanted to go to Japan. Trying to collect <laughs> a bunch of pictures of me as a kid, so I can make my own self-deprecating like montage of photos. So you're a masochist, is what I'm getting at. Spank me, daddy. <laughs> well, he is a Zeon lover. I I I do worship the losers. Yeah. He does love Cassilia's porcelain skin. Uh, origin version of Cassilia, not, not that's what I'm talking about. Gundam. No, we just talk about the one scene. The one scene where they throw the curtains <laughs> open. See Better it. in the manga. I know. <laughs> Even though we all know you like blonde girls better. Sayla is my waifu. Sayla is best girl. Uh, didn't it just get put on Netflix? Uh, the anime net or uh, Parasite? Maybe. I don't know. The anime Parasite, yes. Um, and I've been watching it. It's really good. Did you watch the live action version? The, the Korean version? The Was Korean it a Korean movie? one? Yeah. No, no, I don't mean I don't mean like the movie Parasite. I mean like the yeah, live no. action adaptation of Parasite oh, by anime. Oh, I've seen clips of it and it looks silly. It looked b- almost as brutal, but weird because of CG. Like I haven't yeah. seen I haven't actually watched Parasite, but I've seen a lot of reviews and screenshots mm-hmm. and stuff. It is nuts. It is yes. so nuts. It's like it's, the thing meets anime. It's really yeah. what it is. It is the thing. It, it, essentially, 
but with more personality. It actually, but it's just You just, just gotta so watch funny. it, man. You just gotta watch it. It's like I have a hard time getting into anime anyway. Like you'd think, oh, he's a nerd. He's gonna watch any anime ever. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but I bet he will now. <laughs> gonna look into that. But uh, but uh, every once in a while I find an anime where like the first episode just grabs me. And this was one of them. Okay. It's some of those things I've got to watch. I just never got around to watching it. Well, it's, I mean, it's relatively new anyway. So. A few years, yeah. I'm here trying to catch up on all the old Gundam stuff, so. Oh my god, I'm working my way through Double Zeta right now. Hey, same. That's what I was going to do before I got yelled at for saying uh, Hmm. that I was going to go and dip out and watch Double Zeta. Yeah. (laughs) What episode are you on? Uh, um, that's a long episode. <laughs> I am. Wait, on, you can't say Elm on this channel. People get offended. You got to know what you're gonna say. You gotta I uh, flew to under gravity. Thirty six. Oh, you're pretty far in. I'm only on episode eleven. Oh, yeah. okay. So apparently that whole subreddit is what you were self self deprecating kid photos of yourself. Oh, nice. Apparently. I don't go to Reddit. I'm too old. I'm liking they Double Zeta. They won't so let me much. on. I I haven't gotten past all mm. the silly parts yet. Yeah, no, I I, uh, I started Did watching. You say of Reddit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you had Double Zeta. I started Double watching Zeta. Double Zeta right off the cuff of Zeta, and then I immediately yeah. stopped. And I'm like, I'm done. This is dumb. I don't like it. I like. <laughs> I, I miss. I miss seeing Camille fly the Zeta. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm coming back to it. And I'm like, you know, after taking a break, it's not that bad. The main character gets yeah. warmed up to it. Well, it's like um, it's not he, Reconquista. <laughs> uh, Is anything? I I haven't finished. This was a waste of money, by the way. I haven't finished G Record. Why'd you buy it? Because I wanted to see it. <sighs> I I got like episode five and I put it down. It was on the internet. Not when I got to see it. No. Well, I mean, listen. If you really want to watch Gundam series and you're not sure if you want to actually purchase it, you can sail the seven seas, my friend. I know. I, I have a, sig- a significant hate for that kind of thing. So that's why we, I don't, we don't promote such actions around here because I used to do such actions. <laughs> what? Sailing? Yeah. You can sail the seven seas uh-huh. to go to Japan and watch it there. Yeah, that's what he meant. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's 100% uh, what he meant. Was, yeah. Oh, here it is. Uh, this is this is something I love going back to watching. Hey, um, oh the original is yeah. that the, uh, the the trilogy or is that the series trilogy? Uh, hey, Riser and said you can just send that G Reco Blu-ray to him. <laughs> well, I mean, you could also use it to wipe your ass. Um, <laughs> That's true. You could I, always, I'm thinking about making. I'm thinking about making a disc launcher. You could do that. Um, you could shoot at it with a pellet gun. I could make. Um, I could hook it to my drone. You could do that because cl- <laughs> you could also put it in a microwave and see some cool, cool sparks. Um, I mean, there's a whole lot of things you could do with that. Um, I say, if you don't want it, give it a good home. <laughs> Why the buy microwave? the cow when you can borrow the milk for free? <laughs> not sure that's how that adage goes, Jerry. <laughs> I don't want the milk back. Yeah, I'll, just milk give you, I'll just give you back some milk. And all that implies. The milkman forgot to give back the milk. It's okay. Your mom will see him about it later. <laughs> oh, God. What? Everybody's dad was a milkman back in the day. That's how you could have six kids and only three of them looked alike. <laughs> milkman. Milkman. Paper guy. Mailman. Somebody was dipping by at least twice a week for those back in, lonely back housewives. In- Back in the day, the paper guy was like a kid in like grade school. So no, no, no. They paid some. They paid a real person to do it at one point, and they realized child labor was cheaper. Yeah. And now I, it's just whoever has a truck and feels like driving. I am thoroughly confused now. I'm building the ammo things for the beam magnum. Yeah. This bothers me. There is one extra. Yeah. It bothers me. Yeah. So. Instead of having <laughs> instead of having spares, just put all of them on one of the, the racks. Yeah, you can technically make it longer. 
I, you can. It just bothers me. You that have one, one extra, extra shot. It would be funny if that was actually due to an animation error to where he actually shot too many shots, so they included one extra. There you go. Go full ridiculous uh, new Gundam <laughs> funnels on it. Just yeah, pick right. a really, really long one. <laughs> I, I actually could. It's a sad thing. It would look cool. It just looks like a banana clip. <laughs> I would suggest gluing them together, though. Oh, I put this in upside down. It happens. We'll forgive you this time. Oh, I wouldn't. Okay, well, we won't. We'll just Good. There you go. Check it out. So it's the uh, gun that AK-47, right? Yeah. But it's not. Honestly, that's not a bad look. It's not a huge banana. The huge banana clip look is cool. Hold on. Hold it up again. Make it... Yeah. It's only slightly ridiculous. Oh, it, I, I'm sorry. I'm missing one. Yeah, put the one on the top. There you go. Yeah, because you can have it come up and through. You could, yeah. you could, yeah, yeah, that's not do. terrible. Just that's now you need some more going the other way, making an S curve. That is completely doable. I've got three more to build, and then another I... one still in the box. With all the beam magnums in my possession, I never did that. Well, just put them all in a circle. That's what I... <laughs> I, I probably could make a complete circle. Yes, you can. Throws them at people. I've seen it done. And it's kind of neat. You have to like, it has to like sit on one side of the barrel though, so it it, it yeah, doesn't they, sit you, quite straight. You need a spiral. For a yeah, it, it it would have to be a it would have to be like a C clip, and it just stops at the barrel on either side. Phoenix, he's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> just like, hey, let's get all of these. Oh yeah, don't forget your other banshee. Your other banshee has it too. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't come with the Big Magnum, does it? No. Nope. Why did I think it did? I have another unicorn box upstairs. He might go up there. <laughs> I've got the uh, HD color version. Yeah. Well, because you're always supposed to have an extra spare that mounts on the back skirt. So you have one mm -hmm. set, and then you have the other set that goes on the butt. Yep. And, the butt. And, then when, and then when you do the Banshee Norn, and he's got the add-on thing underneath, you have a spare one of those as whenever well. Whenever they, Whenever they, you know... Rewave that kit. You can't ever have it. Don't worry about it. <sighs> hey, you can feel bad all you like. At least that got a re release. There's one graze that I still need and I probably will never get my hands on. Which one is that? The uh, Gaelio Custom Schwab. Oh. Graze. The only one I'm missing out of the entire IBO line. Because I have all the other P Bandai's essentially. He's got him. He's getting them. We're just going to see one of them. I'm what? very jealous of your P Bandai IBO collection. I know. It's I one thing got... I can. That's one thing I can lord over you. That's that's it. It's very few things I can lord over you. It's, it's it was all those grazes. I just I couldn't keep up with them. I haven't built. How are those built on those grazes? Exactly the same. Oh, how is it built on any single one of them? It's fine. All right. I mean, it's like right. I don't know what to tell you. It's fine. There's nothing, nothing crazy about it. The last one I built was the funny, funny enough. The last graze I built was actually the first graze kit. Oh really? Yeah, the standard regular commander type graze was the last graze I built because it's the last one I could get my hands on. I randomly found it at a hobby town, um, and it took me forty minutes. So just, okay. I can't build them without the instructions. At this point, I've only how many did I calculate, Joey? Like twenty. How many, how many? I think so. I think I've wow. built 20, 22 of them. Yeah. So that, wow, crazy. Yeah, yeah, I've got all of them except for the one, and it drives me fucking nuts. <laughs> now, I had somebody who picked it up for me in Japan, but I never got it shipped by him. Mm -hmm. I grabbed it in a Gumpla shop, and I don't even know if I can get a hold of that guy anymore. Oh, no. Yeah. Did he he's ha he's had it for more than a year. That's the thing. He's like, oh, man. And I told him to like, dude, just hit me up when you're ready to ship. I'll sh I'll send you the money because yeah. he showed me that he picked it up. Mm -hmm. Um, and he just never did. He wanted himself. No, he didn't care about it. He was, well, he was shop shopping for us. He's one of the guys in the off the runner chat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, hopefully, I'll be going over there in October, unless we get wave two of the Backstreet Boys reunion tour. <laughs> I don't know about in October. I think November, December. I think October will be okay. 
We'll see. I mean, oh, that's just me. We're planning for the very last week of October. I mean, I'm no expert, but apparently neither are the experts. I'm just this is an extremely tedious thing to do. I'm just poking fun at this point. I know. <laughs> I'm cutting out ammo cartridges. And, and I guess I'm, we want a circle. And I'm pretending to be triggered for the bit. I know. Whee! Joey doesn't get triggered anymore. Mm. <laughs> Except by Zach. Is it Zach? Which Zach? Is it Nelson? Oh, Zach Nelson? Yeah. He doesn't he doesn't trigger me. No, but you guys have fun all the time. We do. Have, yeah, he's he's a friend. Oh, he's a good friend. He's a friend. I feel like I should be doing something. You should be doing something. You should be working on your Barbatos since you already opened it. No. Um, that's what the rest of the week is for. Fair. We all know I'm not going to build it this week because I'm lazy. Fair. Oh, I, I don't know if you, you saw on Twitter. I gave up on my Moganox for now. I saw a post about it. I didn't get a chance to read it, but I figured you would. I got 18 left to go. And wow. it, because my because my brown paint dried up and clumped oh, up or whatever. Them? What's that? I said, oh, you're painting them? Uh, well, I've He's making accurate. Them. He's making accurate Moganox. I like knocking things over. I don't want to knock over. Don't we all? Uh, poor, I've been I've been building the full forty uh, as close to what they appear in the anime as possible, which has been a lot of customization, um, scratch building shoulders and head pieces and everything. So uh, when you're and, done, you're gonna come and show them off on the channel, right? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. We we'll do pictures. Talk about everything you went through to get there. Yeah. Have you on a builder showcase for once? Well, that'd be fun. Um, but yeah, That's so it. it's been an undertaking. Um, at the beginning of the project, I mixed up um, four custom colors. Uh, there is a light blue gray for like the joints and stuff. I've been using on the ammo clips on the guns, and it started to clump up. Like the pigment would, I, mm -hmm. I don't know. It was like it wasn't drying out, but it was like crumbling. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. I think I have a. Uh, what, what kind of paint we're using for that? Enamel. Oh, okay. Why are you using enamels? Because it's. I like enamels. They're very smooth. They're easy to hand brush. What? Nothing. <laughs> Just because there's a whole world of lacquers out there. Well, lacquers are great for airbrushing. I haven't been able to do very smooth hand brushing paint with that. So, well, yeah, they're definitely not meant for that. And yeah, and I've been using testers and enamels for over 20 years. So, yeah, I remember getting high on those as a child as well. <laughs> they're actually really good paints. So you've yeah. been using you've been using uh, testers and enamels uh, longer than probably I was able to think or talk. Well, I mean, I was gonna say it's like I don't know how long you've been thinking. It doesn't seem very long as it is. <laughs> you have a large unicorn collection. You paint your psycho frame. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, I can harshly judge you on that one. So, Wait, don't like yeah. paint psycho frame? So, no. uh, when when the, the gray-blue paint died off, I thought that was okay because I was just using it for um, the cartridges on the beam rifles. And I yeah. was like, animation accuracy, they aren't that color. They're the same color as the gun. So I don't really need that paint, but then it happened to the brown, the dark brown, which is like a main color. And you can't and like break I it down. I can't. I've tried everything to fix it. It's. I think what happened was I used some acrylics, and I didn't clean them out properly. And uh, when I went and put it into the enamel paint, some of the residue, like chemically, just screwed everything up. You know what? I I have had that happen before in a very similar manner. So yeah. Wow, he just said he just now got the notification of the live stream. Hmm. That's impressive. That's usually how YouTube is for me. Yeah, I mean, I I didn't even announce I was going. I just like went live because I needed to put up a video today. That's why the video is called. You know, <laughs> it's like I'm just gonna be honest. I just needed a video for today. Let's do a live stream. 
You missed the Barbatos unboxing. See, most people are just going to quit watching after the unboxing and it doesn't matter. So it's fine what it is. Um, I just bored. <sighs> and I actually have to do stuff tomorrow because we didn't do anything today, like at all. So like the wifey is uh, working on homework on our two least favorite classes. And then... Uh, We've done nothing all day. I, I'm I gotta soak up my uh, summer here while I can. Uh, I got uh, this is my last week before I start school again. So, oh. what are you yeah. studying? Uh, internet security. Oh, dude, very lucrative right now. Yeah. Like, definitely. Uh, I do believe that uh, Joey is friends with Vegeta eight five nine eight two five nine. Uh, Henry. Yeah. I mean, kind of, sort of, yeah. I mean, I mean you, you've been around so long, you kind of know everybody. Yeah. See, jo Joey, while not technically in the YouTube crowd, knows all of the longtime mm. YouTubers. Yeah. Well, I, like, I've been into Gundam on the internet since, like, before YouTube, and all we had was message boards. Yeah. Nice. Actually, even longer than that, because I'm still on the Gundam.com mailing list, which was like, like the last one. You're like the last holdout. It was like a message board through email. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I couldn't think of his name either. I knew it was Henry. I just couldn't think of it. Um, yeah. uh, speaking of which, I have not heard from Mr. Zeta Kai in a while. Hope he's doing uh, okay. I think he's just been really busy with work. I figured that. Uh, but, like, I mean, we don't but, talk in, anywhere near as much as we used to. Yeah. Um, well, ever since he got big and joined the uh, the Gumpla Network over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's true. Let's just be honest here. <laughs> Not dogging on him, but, yeah, once he joined up. <laughs> no, I'm the, just, yeah. Once he joined Gumpla Network, he's too good to talk to us. <laughs> Uh, I never, I, never I, comes I, to hang out anymore. <laughs> I enjoy their entire channel and everything they do. So I'm just, I'm just oh, joking. I anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm not in with their stuff anymore. Surprisingly, you know. I'm like really some, into some, to go. some people have been kind of left out of their uh, thing. For, for as, as much as I'm into Gundam and stuff, I like don't watch any Gundam stuff on YouTube very much. I've surprised myself. Thanks. <laughs> Not as much as I as I think I want. No, no, to. no, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. All Not right. offended at all. Yeah, Henry Mc, Henry McClellan. Uh, he's a good. How do you spell that? No, that's not <laughs> how it's spelled. McLaughlin. Is it McClellan or is it McLaughlin? It's, it's McClellan. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I never talked to the guy. He did teach me how to make uh, curry. So <sighs> that's cool. How much uh, U.S. dollars would you have to save up for a week in Japan? Like, how much would it cost you there, Joey? Uh, well, the flight alone for me is about uh, seventeen hundred. Wow. Well, that's because I buy two seats because I'm a big man. <laughs> um, and then the lodgings we found, I think, was nine hundred for the week. Okay. Let's just say he said not counting flight ticket. So I guess and, he gets there for free somehow. Uh, yeah. So the lodgings we found was about nine hundred uh, for the week, five yeah. days, four nights, or was oh. it no six days, six days, five nights? Yeah. See, that was my problem with because uh, you know I wanted to go to TFCon last year. Um, the flight getting there and back just for me, not even the wifey, was more than the hotel for the week. Yep. So I was like. Uh, it's like I really want to go, but that's not including food or anything else. And that, and that was only flying to yeah. Washington. Yeah, you know, I was just like, and hopefully, all of the nonsense that's going on will kind of change the the air service industry a bit because, frankly, the prices were getting out of hand. And I know jet fuel ain't cheap, but that's not what they've been charging us for. No, it's not. No. Um. um Hold on, just real quick. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, a fair point from Mr. Carl. Bless you. 
Rona. Um, uh, he said it's weird that gum. Gundam female female Gundam reviewers technically are increasing lately. Well, female hmm. reviewers in general have been increasing lately. Big think, big think. Yeah. It's big like, tits, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> Songs are in the thumbnail and constantly on screen. What does it matter? That is true. I forgot the girl that got shared not long ago. I shared the the picture that somebody else had posted. And it's like the entire video, like her whole head is cut off and she's reviewing the kit like right here the whole time. Uh, and I'm just she, like, I mean, I can't really compete with that. What am I going to do? Photoshop <laughs> the mom? <laughs> like, uh, nobody, nobody wants to see these hairy puppies. I know who you're talking about. It's a it's a Japanese girl. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do don't get me wrong. She's cute and well, fairly well endowed for a Japanese girl. Yeah. Um, And uh, her latest video is actually like full face so like really? she, i think she's moving away from that a little bit she so she, she got she got the subscribers and the initial views and then will mature after that yeah think, think about the long run you know yeah the long well, run. i mean i mean as an initial gimmick i guess that's fine and then at some point when people stop making or you know when you're tired of them making fun of you for only being you know tits on yeah. a camera then have some minor integrity the thing though cool. is like she actually has some skill Oh, I'm not saying she's a bad builder. Yeah. It's just when that's not what people were coming to your channel for. Because you can read the comments. Yeah. You know? Oh, bye. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's exactly like, I cannot remember. It's I think it's like Sabrina's toy chest or something like that. I don't like yeah. Sabrina, but something along those lines. Literally, it's toy chest yeah. is the name of her channel. Guess what the primary feature of her channel is? Because it ain't toys. <laughs> it's the chest. The, yeah, <laughs> the toys go in. Yeah. Now the other day, she—I uh, think I mentioned this on a live stream the other day. Uh, they or she rather. Well, actually, supposedly she's transgendered as well. Okay. We'll just leave it at that. Um, I say supposedly. I know nothing of this. This is what I was told. Okay. So went on a toy hunt in Walmart, Target, there, and all that. Not on camera, obviously, holding the camera out, looking for the toys. Picked up like all the Scooby Doo stuff, like from a new movie. Okay. Goes home to review it. Obviously, sits down in front of the camera, tank top. I'm not entirely certain there's a bra. Might have been. And make sure she does a long sit down while bent over. Mm -hmm. Then starts bringing out the stuff and is very giggly and all this stuff and very bouncy. Like, literally, it takes a moment to literally mm -hmm. bounce on screen. And then I got hit all the bases first. Literally, no, no, it gets better. So she's opening up. I think it was the, uh, I think it was the uh, mystery machine. I, I think that's what she was opening. I was kind of skipped to the point that people were talking about in the comments. So I was like, okay, let let's see what she did, because I've, I've I've been told to look at her channel again for this exact reason. And literally, like she pops something open, like you know, just goes junk, rips it open, and a little plastic piece about that big goes flying goes straight into the cleavage and I so she heard about this at one point yeah you, you might have heard about it um I, I know i definitely talked about it but so what did she do she laughs and she goes guy did you see that and then literally leans over pulls her shirt down so you can see straight down in through everything and see the the piece that landed in her in her shirt all the bases had to be checked literally as like not much more and you would have seen nipple like no joke. I was just like, it's like I'm not gonna do it, but you could probably report yeah. this. You could probably report this. Let's just be honest. It's like, and it's not that I believe that like she's a fake collector, but she's yeah. definitely got one appeal. <laughs> so, well, here's my well, stance two, on all two of appeals. It. Let's just be honest here. Two appeals. My stance on all of it is I respect the hustle. Use what you got. Yeah, hold on. Uh, yeah, Hita, Hita brought that up. Awesome Toys did a video on lady reviewers vaguely recently, but left out Prime 92. Um, but there's a reason nobody talks about Prime 92. She's never on camera. Most people don't even know it's a she. And I used to watch Prime 92, like, all the time. That's how I learned about the uh, weird double O add-on kits or, yeah. uh, you know, the B-Club kind of kits hasn't... and stuff like that. She hasn't she done hasn't... anything in a long time. That well, I know she of. hasn't done anything on camera in a long time. She's hold on, hold news. on. Wait, wait, wait. It has happened. 
I take off the barrel of the gun. Well, no, the thing is you need to, to space it around the barrel. Like, leave the barrel there and then leave the gap at the barrel. So it comes around from both sides. You don't need the end handle. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh no. Don't fuck it up. Did Disaster you? in progress. There we go. Now we can shoot. <laughs> oh, there's one. Okay, that's one way to do it. Yeah, that's but I mean, what I was talking like, about earlier. Yeah. So that's just a little bit. But yeah, no, I mean, like, Prime 92 has been around for so long. Yeah. And like... Yeah, you know, she was one of my go-tos like back in the day when I needed when yeah. I wanted to look up custom kits. Yeah, because like it was less review, more customs, and I was more into that than needing to know if a kit was good. To be totally honest, I've hardly ever watched somebody else's review to know specifically about a kit. Yeah, even I stopped, before I did this, I've kind of stopped watching reviews because, like, for the most yeah, part, yeah. <laughs> for the most part, like since. I'm gonna say since age, yeah, like high grades are high grades. They're they're good. They're not gonna be terrible unless they're based off of an old model. But even then, it's like I know exactly you, where you were going with that. Is you get what you get. Hold on, I um, forgot who, who was it that was raging not long ago in a live stream. I forget somebody. Somebody in the in the in the side was just constantly raging about the. Uh, Tristan, and I forgot who it was. Yeah, um, and I'm just like, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's yeah, it's yeah. it's great for 2003. It's a snake. <laughs> yeah, he did the S curve. <laughs> I was joking. There it is. <laughs> See, you didn't know you could have this much fun with the beam magnum. Uh, anybody else remember Robert one eight four? Yeah, two R's, two does. B's. Yeah, everyone remembers him. Yeah, I never do it. I never As knew. Legend. Him. Oh, really? No, never knew about him. I mean, I probably saw his videos suggested back in the day, but never watched his stuff ever. Oh. Is there uh, his channel is still there? But I don't even think any videos are there. Are they? No, uh, his channel's still up. All of his videos are still on there. Okay, just, I couldn't remember. I know I looked anything. it up. And, yeah, I mean, like, I hate to expect the worst, but I don't know that anybody knows his whereabouts. Last, and it's been a long time. It has been a long time. I know that he had a job in media. Um, so the rumors are that he started doing more professional work. Yeah. Like behind the scenes in Japanese media, movies, something, something. Yeah. So it is it is interesting. Like Jerry just pointed out, he hasn't posted in like eight years. Yeah. Hmm. It's like surprisingly, YouTube has left his channel up. Yeah. Like, let's just be honest here. If you if you had a new channel right now that hadn't and you hadn't uploaded to it in like two years, they would probably delete your channel or at least archive it and just yeah. stop wasting their own uh, space. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the old guys like that, you know. I mean, no, I mean, but back when he was active, I was watching toy reviews, Transformers reviews, mm -hmm. stuff like that. I wasn't into Gumpla yet, so yeah. you know, by the time I did, he obviously wasn't even making anything new, you know. So I know nothing of him. Yeah, when I when I first got into Gundam, and I was on the internet, like <clears throat> I'm trying to think the first the first big interaction place that I had was uh, the Gundam Shop. dot com mm -hmm. uh, had a message board, um, and I still remember there was a guy named Mike. He went by Titan X. There was um, Gundam Pilot, all, all caps. And if you didn't say Gundam Pilot in all caps or GP in all caps, you got kicked because he was like the admin. Oh, my goodness. Um, there was Phil Goodwin, who was, I mean, he was a really cool guy. He and I actually became friends like off the boards. Um, there was a guy named Sniper Master that I talked to a lot. Um, Sniper Master. And that then, was me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It would be funny. No, because I I learned all these people's real names. So, because no, um, that was back, did. that was back when you just told people things on the internet. Um, and then we moved over to Child of Mecca, the first iteration of Child of Mecca. Yep, that was two thousand three, two thousand four. Yeah, he's been around a long time. Yeah, well, then like what happened was we there was a guy who joined the. The um, who joined the 
message board and he was like super annoying and trolling everyone and he was just an asshole. So uh, they they kicked him out and then he ended up reporting Tim for all of his decals that he was selling because he had a bunch of like good quality decals that he would yeah. print off for people. And it was all copyrighted material, of course. So he got reported yep. and then he that's yeah, shut down the website for a while. I don't know if that's exactly why he shut down for a while, but that was probably not seems like a good reason. Yeah. Yeah, because only really like super hardcore got back into the mecha decals. Uh, mm -hmm. or maybe it was just new stuff he did recently. Because he he's he's always pushing them, but I guess they got picked up by USA Gundam store. Yeah. Yeah, those are yeah. they're more like just generic markings, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I looked at them because I, I thought about getting some, but yeah. you know me. Uh, he still gets mad views. Why would YouTube pull down his vids? Because he hasn't put anything up. <laughs> like I know he had a lot back in the day, but like new sells more than old sometimes, you know. So I mean, if he still gets some views, fine. But yeah. you know, it just depends on because those videos are that old, he probably has ads roll before and that's it there's not gonna be any during there's not gonna be anything like that you know even some of my older videos are getting less ad sense than my newer ones because of the way the advertising was set up back then yeah and that was only four years ago now mind you all my old videos are the ones who get my views every month so it doesn't matter like you can add up all my new videos for the month and they won't equal the views of my old videos for the month it's kind of sad like it, legit, like my my, because you know how they will always have your your most popular videos. <clears throat> Apparently, that's what most people see, not even my new stuff, unless yeah. you're subscribed. It's weird. Yeah. Um, but I guess that's the way their new quote unquote algorithm works. Um, so every now and then I I uh, privatize or I private some of my more popular videos so that new things will push. So I just let the uh, I just let the destiny out, so to speak. I had it had it on private for about three months, but then I realized it would have been like one of the next ones to get to twenty thousand. So I was like, eh, I'm gonna go ahead and kick that one back out. But it actually let the uh, Strike Freedom get ahead because Strike Freedom wasn't getting as many views. So it it was actually the most uh, most viewed thing. My Y wing still gets like second most views of the month every month that, that uh that y-wing video uh that was like what two years ago or something like that yeah uh yeah i know that because it was it keeps getting pushed under my recommended yeah it's like that's funny that one gets pushed a lot like even i see it because obviously I, I run around under a different name sometimes so i see my own stuff recommended do you how many of the star wars kits do you have uh i've got three built so I've got Poe's X-Wing, First Order TIE Fighter, the Y-Wing. I've got uh, an Episode 4 X-Wing, whether that's Luke's or not. I've got B-Wing, A-Wing, and the Millennium Falcon. Okay. So I was, I was going to ask if you had the um, the Death Star run. No, uh, no, no, no. Okay. But they have the they have the ones that are coming out that have the like trench run yeah. bio. Yeah. But those are usually the one one forty fourth size ones. Yeah, I'd go for the one seventy second. Okay. I like I like mine to be consistent so that when I can do my hanger diorama from Rogue Squadron, it'll sure. all fit together. Yeah. So I actually need to get a model of one of those. I forget what kind of car it is, but I I can always look it back up so that I can have the car sitting in the corner and people ask, "This is a Star Wars diorama. Why is there a car in there?" <laughs> 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 because Rogue Squadron, bitch. Um, I just, I, because more people like to watch the Gundam stuff, I haven't built the Star Wars stuff in a while. Mm. Just been accumulating. Yeah. Plus I need to get, uh, some lights for the B-Wing because you, it comes with the ability to add lights, but it doesn't come with them with the standard version. Yeah. Yep. Now you got the double breath skirt. I, uh, I kind of want to get the trench diorama stuff. Um, just because it is 144 scale, not that it matters really what uh -huh. scale it is, but like all the little greeblies and details, like on the trench, I want to use for other stuff. 
I just don't know if those are things you can remove versus single molded pieces. From my understanding is like the actual bases are just yeah. squares with a bunch of peg holes uh -huh. and you plug stuff in. Okay. Well, cause, uh, obviously I haven't done any of those. I've just seen the kit. Um, cause I think there's, cause the a wing, the a wing comes with a chunk of, uh, trench, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And then I believe there's a small, a smaller sized, uh, X-wing trench run, I believe, and it's like got a lot more going on. Yeah, there. I well, think. it's a one one forty fourth. I can uh, look X-wing with I think, I think it's three panels long of the trench. I'm looking, and it was on um, Bluefin's website on sale for like twenty five bucks. It normally goes for fifty. That's not bad. Yeah, I just don't want to build that small of an X-wing. That's fair, but it would scale nicely with your grazes. <laughs> well that's what's funny like because they have the they have the at at yeah. but like it's the wrong even at 1144 it looks so weird next to the uh to a gundam here it is i realized okay. i had myself muted that's right oh, oh i was wondering why i couldn't hear you <laughs> yeah here's the death star attack set it's 36.95 on uh gundam planet oh, okay let me look at it. What I was trying to say before is I, I really want to get into doing more of those Star Wars kits. I've only ever done one. Yeah. I, I did an X Wing. Nice. nice. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's got it's got sections of the walls, included like the base that comes with the Y Wing. Um got a turbo laser. You should share your screen. I could, but I don't <laughs> wanna I want you to stare at me staring at something. It's uh, in, in stairception, you should do all your reviews like that. <laughs> from from the camera's point of view, yeah, looking at me, yeah, I could do that. Actually, I thought about doing multicam for reviews, but then you'd okay. be like Jobby. Everybody tells me I should be like Jobby, so maybe I should just start no. listening to everybody's opinion. It's pretty I, cool. I want I want to talk about that stuff after we talk about this. Oh no. Yeah, okay, so the so like you can see my uh, cursor. So like this stuff here, like this yep. is definitely the same as the base that comes with the Y wing and possibly the A wing. I have to look. Um, and obviously this is a little bit different. I'm trying to figure out if this is supposed to be like this little. Oh, I guess I can enlarge. I didn't realize. Yeah, uh, I think this. Portal. Yeah, but the thing is, is like they've always shown that that is on a vertical surface, not. A horizontal one. No, no, that's what it's always implied as. Even when they do the computer generated thing, uh, it's on a wall. It's not vertical. It was weird. No, 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 no. We watched that scene because the the um, the blasts they yeah. go over and then they get sucked down. No, I know it. that. I know the missiles go into it, and that's one thing that has never made sense because when they show it, it's never on the horizontal surface it's on a vertical surface and then that happens as if the missiles trailed up and in now i understand how it's supposed to look but what i'm just talking about is my understanding of it okay now as for like you can see these surfaces here look like they probably get placed like this because yeah. obviously you can see the gap yeah this is this is hard to tell but it might be i mean obviously everything's got a heavy oil wash as well yeah i mean if it does allow you to Greeble, greeble up the surface. That's pretty cool. But I mean, it looks like it's going to be set, you know, Even area. Still, like I could, I could cut it up to get the parts I want off of it. So is that one of those really, like, really, really tiny X wings? Then this is a one one forty fourth. So it's it's not tiny per se. They do have the really small ones, uh, but that one's not terrible. But yeah, this is those are all bigger than the bases that come with the. Well, actually, no, they might be the same size bases as the ones that come with the one seventy second. Okay, so this is the same as this over here. I guess I can zoom in. So it looks like they clone a few of them. Like this one is doubled up. This one is doubled up. Mm -hmm. This one's doubled up. See, to me, it would make more sense to just be a solid mold. Not actually have individual pieces. Yeah, it it might be. 
I mean, might, I get you. You're willing to cut it up. I I understand. Yeah, yeah. but I have I, you have to go find somebody who's reviewed it, Joey. Hey, even this even this part looks like it. Yeah, this is clone oh. too because it's right here. Yeah. Huh. I mean, I like the idea that you could mix and match. Yeah. But I think you can only possibly plug into this one. I just want in, in theory. To, like, I could even even without having to cut it up. Like yeah. as it is, you could use it for like the outside of a colony or something. Hold you on, know, something gun related. In space, there is no up. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's vertical and horizontal. When it comes to a planet thing. Also love the canon reason for the Death Star having no handrails. Yeah, it doesn't need them. Uh, come back and suddenly Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, customize an X-Wing into a core fighter. Well, what I was thinking is if you could get a, one of the really small like Gundam representations and you have it flying down the trench run, it'd be funny. Yeah. Interstellar Modeler does good build and customer. That says, stop putting people onto other channels. <laughs> Which uh what store is this? Huh? Where is I'm looking this? at? Yeah. On the planet. Got the planet. Okay. That's where I usually go to first if I need to look something up. And then if I can't find it there, I'll go to the Big Bad Toy Store. Because right they have they, they sometimes have a different selection. I wonder if Dalong has a review. I would assume so. It's been out for a while. I'm gonna go check. Why don't you go check, Joey? See, what makes me mad is they don't have a 172nd Slave 1. Is that is that Boba's? Yeah. yeah. They have a they have a 1144th. They don't have a 172nd. So, it screws up my uh, scale. Yeah. Well, it's because they they want they want people to scale their Star Wars stuff with their Gundam stuff. <laughs> no, they don't. They do. They don't. <laughs> You know, honestly, here's the thing. I don't care. I know you I don't, don't care. Because ultimately <laughs> what Bandai needs to do is get the Star Trek license. Uh, we've talked about this. Yes, I know we have. We've, we've talked about this in depth. Yes, we have. And, and we all know that the Roddenberry estate does not let them let anything out if they can help it. I know. And that makes me angry because... <sighs> I just want a really awesome Defiant kit. Exactly. That's I just all, want a Defiant. That's all I want. And I don't want the old, was it, is it either AMT or Ravel? I don't remember which one it was. I don't want to do that. Sorry. Uh, I think, yeah, no. I think I think it's Ravel. Um, but anyway, Yeah. I think it is oh, Ravel. I, I also need, a, so they have a 148 ATST. So you don't even get an AT, AT and an ATST that scale to each other. But I think, Wonderful. yeah, there's, yeah, in Rogue Squadron you get an ATST. So I don't even get one of those that I could put in my hangar. So it'll never be complete. Though I will say they're one sixth uh, and one twelfth scale people, like character kits, actually are really nice. I haven't built any; they just look. Really nice. I keep getting notifications over here. What's going on? What did Felix? What did Mr. Felix Johnson say? What did I post? What is he? Oh, okay. No, oh, I guess Adam Bailey wanted to know about things. I don't know. And I, I'm honestly surprised they haven't done another PG Falcon. Like. We've got different versions of the Falcon, and they only gave us the one. Uh, ooh, find matching scale Star Trek and Star Wars models. I mean, yeah, get a get a one five thousand scale anything. It'll it'll scale to the Star Destroyer. Star Destroyer is just a bigger ship. In general, there's a lot more ship to it and much higher crew complement. Uh, by the way, are there any of you guys who display your model planes or aircrafts by hanging them with a thread? I know a lot of people who do, using fishing line. Shoki, weren't you trying to do that with your seekers? I did do it with my seekers. There you go. They're right there. One of, one of which 
uh, accidentally uh, broke free, so now he's hanging by his nose. <laughs> the what's funny is the thread is still there; it just lost tension on one side, so it dropped. Mm. It's, nose dive, but it's funny that it's still in place. But now it just looks like he's going into a stall, like he's just straight up. Oh, that's um, disappointing. So yeah, all those all those panels are they're pre molded because they're you. they're used as uh, bases. For yeah, that's what I was saying. They're bases yeah. for the ships. Yeah, like that's I said, okay. the one is definitely for the Y wing. Just go buy Greeblies. There's got to be somebody out there who just makes the Greeblies. 3D print them or something, or 3D mold I mean, them. It's whatever. Vacuum, I could... vacuum mold it yourself, Joey. You can use them either way. Uh, my go-to is USA Gundam Store. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> what's wrong with USA Gundam Store? All the things, Joey. They fucked up the ball that you didn't get to buy. That's your fault. <laughs> what, no, what happened? No. I, I'm exceedingly curious. Their poor now. shipping was not my fault. That is your fault. <laughs> it's my fault that they packed it to one side and then let it get crushed? No, it's your it's fault forced. that I didn't get it. What no. I'm hearing is someone got their ball crushed. Yeah. Shoki, Shoki stole the ball from underneath me. And you didn't know crushed. the ball was there. I told you about the ball <laughs> And I went to buy it, not knowing it was the final one. And then you went ball. to click on it, and it was sold out. That's not my fault. This kind of ball? Uh, the it, was the, it was the oh. K. It was the bald K. Mm. I, I, wanted I, wanted, I love these balls. They're nice. Yeah. Well, apparently, they're just in the midst of the beer flu, they've been struggling a little bit over there at uh, well, U yeah. Yeah. USAG's. I, I want to get another one of these, and uh, like I painted the inner, like the inside of this. Uh -huh. yeah, but I want, I want to go through it, and I want to do it another one uh, with even more detail, and make these two things on the side light up. Yeah, do it. I did it to my HG. Nice. I might uh, do it. I might do it I to the poly. Ball. I actually, actually, I'm a liar. I didn't do it to my HG. Rodimus did it, and then uh, I told him how to improve it, and he never did. <laughs> he yeah. did not do a good wiring job on that. He could have cleaned it up a lot easier. And he's going with nine volt power instead of, you know, button batteries. Uh, so I wanted to touch on people okay. in your comments section. Hold on, you... hold on, hold on. I'm going to give you the screen. Go ahead. I wanted to have a conversation. This is not a solo thing. No, that's fine. I'll converse back. I just wanted you to be the center of attention. Okay. Uh, I wanted to touch on people in your comments section telling you to be like other reviewers or shortening your format. Yes. Um, and then them saying that you're being rude when you comment back and explain that you've already explained this like a half dozen times in the past. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just wanted to say that I agree with you and that, you know, you, you like your, it's your channel and your format. You got to do it the way you want to do it. And like, it's, I, I don't like it when, one reviewer is trying to copy another reviewer's method. Yeah. So, well, th yeah. that was even one of my, my <laughs> comments that I don't think everybody saw because I replied to somebody else's reply mm -hmm. um, where I said like, okay, so I start taking the criticisms. I shorten my videos. I focus them. And then I change this. And then I change this due to, you know, from every criticism, I just take that and I just start adjusting. Mm -hmm. And then at some point I just start looking like, everyone else yeah you know yeah. um maybe i'll grow my hair back out and swoop it off to one side and put on some glasses yeah. and uh get a very gray work area um <laughs> i'm not picking on zach i'm just saying um i already ripped off one of his vids and did it better so it's fine but either way <laughs> you can you can only you can only <sighs> copy quote unquote so far before somebody says exactly what I said in that comment. Hey, you should stop being like this person and just do something more original. It's like, there's no good way to start from where you are already being original and then try to blend towards what everybody says you should be. And then you get the opposite end of that. And it's like, and how has like, how much do you give up of your own vision or how much are you willing to give up of your own vision to let other people run it, you know? And, you know, it, it, it has been said many times. We talked about this. I, I believe we talked about it yesterday morning as well. Before I posted this whole comment thread and it, and it went really crazy. Um, 
and by no means am I really trying to like offend anybody. You right. know, I'm not I'm not really attacking <laughs> anyone. I'm I didn't just... think that you seemed like to me reading those comments you were just replying. I didn't feel like you were attacking anyone. I didn't even think that you were really all that defensive. You were just explaining your point. Yeah. Well, actually what really got me got to me, I almost said got me mad, but what got to me is he's the uh at least the guy who started that entire thread um used those two words the point <laughs> and i literally was like i've already dealt with you it's like i have the point videos it's like but how how do i i mean you've been around long enough and you know yeah. me how do i normally deal with criticism shamelessly mocking back it's like yeah. i nor i normally just make fun of your criticism by giving you exactly what you want to the extreme so that you realize I don't care. You yeah. know, you know how to push buttons. Yeah. It's like, not to me. I have fun doing the point videos, but I have to want to do them. Right. I can't yeah. just manufacture those. They have to happen. However, I think I will do them for the Porta Nova, the 30 minute mission Porta Nova. Now that I have four variants of it. Yeah. So now I, now I have flavors uh -huh. so I can do, I can do different flavors of the Porta Nova. Um, so I'm already working on that idea. I just have to, I have to find the hook, but when it comes to the point videos, I have to have the, the, at least two solid joke ideas and then everything else just flows usually as I'm doing it. Yeah. You know? So it's like, um, I go back to the Kimaris Vidar one. Cause that was one of my favorite ones. The thumbs up thing. Cause you having the Lance hand being yeah. a thumbs up was one of the things. And then the main key visual joke of that whole thing is the, and it used to look like this. And then it's all <laughs> variants of the Kim, of the Kimaris or the Vidar and the gray Zine behind it. And I want yeah. it on screen only long enough for people to go, wait, what? And then have to go back and look at it. It's like, so I get this, the main key jokes. And then from there, I just expand out. And then yeah. like, the irony being that every, Every the point video has gotten longer since the initial one, so I'm not even. It's like as long as it's under two minutes, I, I keep it to the point, so to speak. Yeah, um, be the Shoki, be more like the Shoki, embrace the Shoki. Nobody has to be like me except for Rodimus, apparently. But even he's actually, it's like he's he's it's like let's just be honest, he's used me as a minor basis, and it's fine because I've helped him out along the way, and then he's developing his own thing, and that's fine. He started doing little voiceover intros for. Uh, like his Transformers reviews and stuff like that, which really reminds me of like TJ Omega or some of the other guys that I uh, that I enjoy watching. So it's like you got to start somewhere, you know. Mm -hmm. And most people have no idea what they're doing if they're not going to directly copy a style. Obviously, I've referenced Imgo as being one of my biggest influences. Speaking of directly copying things, I've decided that if I ever get time to actually devote to the, my channel again, yeah, it's going to be a straight rip off of everything you do in a very mocking tone. Okay. Well, I mean, you already did that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Giuseppe's Giuseppe's Cutina. Giuseppe's a Kitchen. Yeah. Or well, not, you don't even have to do like you should go Cutina. So like just take it even more Italian, yeah. even though it's not even Italian. It's, it's like not. is it Italian? Is it French? What is it? You know, well, I mean, even he does, even he does a straight in the kitchen video. Yeah. Like, so it's even funnier. M goes flavor is bluish. Yes. I was like, you know how hard it is for me to not do bluish whenever I review like a siege thing. It's like, I don't pull out the effect parts and stuff like that, but I would definitely copy the bluish from M go because it's the funniest fucking thing he does. Yeah. And I'd like, even like, okay, so M go's been around forever and he's evolved, but he's stayed exactly him he's just evolved with the technology he's evolved with just learning curve but people i think for, for instance uh vault matrix has definitely not aged properly he's in a zone now where he hasn't done enough to change and he's trying to figure out who he is now with modern times and especially with the whole um uh uh Kappa thing. Uh, he decided he tried to go all made for children uh, and then tried to go Patreon and all that. I don't know if it ever succeeded, but as far as I know, there have been zero Kappa cases. Um, yeah, knock, I... on, knock on wood. But um, 
Balt for the longest time has clearly not had a direction. And, you know, I think it's when he, he, he started becoming more off the bottom of Slake, which is fine. They have both been around about as long. Actually, he was around longer than, than Paul, uh, uh, because that's back when he was uh, Spada, Spada the Balt Matrix. Um, and then when he was doing reviews on his kitchen floor, like that's how it's like he's been around so damn long that he used to do reviews just on his kitchen floor, like near his fridge, because um, it's the only background and decent lighting he had. Um, but now, like, I see him just trying to keep up with the trends. He put out a 52 Toys Beast Box review the other day, and all I wanted to comment, ha, look, Ball Matrix is copying me. <laughs> like, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, actually, it would be hilarious if he really was. Um, if you saw, well, I know TJ Omega also got into them very recently because he did, uh, like two months ago, he did the, uh, shit, I don't even remember what it was actually called. It was like the Pinchy, you know, the, the crawfish. Oh, yeah. Um, I just call it Pinchy. I don't remember what its actual name is anymore. I don't... Um, it's just Pinchy. Um, just Pinchy things. It's just Pinchy. So just he's, pinchy dev he's Devastator's pet, you know? Um, to be fair, Rodimus. Who does the in the kitchen videos? Not me. Well, yeah, but you do the what I got videos, which is not exactly very far off, and it's not Rodimus season, anyways. I'm just waiting for Rod One Three to come along. I don't <laughs> know if you knew. We invented a new kit. Well, no, I'm sorry. A, a new a new alternate version of him ha will be arriving sometime soon. Okay. Be, co be cool. <laughs> Yeah, the ca I came up with Rod one because everybody kept calling him Rod in the comments. I was like, "Who is Rod?" <laughs> so, so I was like, "Oh, he's totally he's got to be." And, and I go back to uh, the um, uh, the episode of Stargate Atlantis, um, McKay and Mrs. Whatever. Whenever the alternate, when they accidentally discovered alternate universes were a thing, and the alternate version of Rodney came through, and he went by Rod. But he's definitely the cool one. Yeah. So I was like, okay, so we got to have a rod now. So rod one three is rod cool one three. He, He'll be a he, cool version. He wears sunglasses and a leather jacket, smoking a cigarette. <laughs> well, you're not too far <laughs> off. <laughs> I told him that he should uh, do a top knot because you know he's okay. got long hair. And yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I was like, well, Rodimus always has it down and like cruddy. Yeah. He's like, and then he's normal, and then. Uh, obviously, mm -hmm. Rodimus normally has it pulled back. I was like, Rod One Three's got to have like a top knot or a uh, or a uh, like a man, man bun. Man bun. I was like, Where did our uh, I think that fits go? the character? Huh? Where did our friend Corin go? Uh, I don't know. I think he forgot that he could just duck out if he needed to. Oh, nope, I hit the wrong button. That's the button I hit. There we go. Let's be right close to each other, Joey. Touch beards. High five. Good touch beards. Fucker, <laughs> beard five. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just nuzzle. It's getting weird, guys. It's, it's getting, getting weird. Okay, there's there'll be a lot. Like every time you do it, I'm not doing it. Okay, Stay there. There we go. Stay there. No, All right, I always love Baldwin. <laughs> Somebody screenshot that. Oh, I, he sent a private chat. Can we be a gift now? I'm just dealing with my mom. It's okay. It's okay if he's dealing with it. Yeah. It's fine. I removed you anyways. To be fair. Okay, never mind. I love Bald Matrix style. <laughs> like, I like it, but like, I think he just started buying into things that had gimmicks and, and like, that's the thing is, especially if you've been around a long time with, as a reviewer, if you start running behind on the newest, shiniest thing, then you feel like you need to keep up and you, so you just start buying all the things or you start buying really crazy stuff. Yeah. You know, and then, but if you like it, yeah, choreography zero out of 10. Well, it's the mirror effect. Like, it's just like, okay, wait, do I need to move left? Do I need to move right? Um, yeah. What I always like about Bald is that he always gives his kid's opinion on something when his kid plays with something. Oh, he's back. Uh, it's pretty nice to go to him when I'm buying a toy for another nephew. Yeah. See, that's the thing is that obviously Bald Matrix is a bit, actually, a bit more kid friendly than some of the others. Like, yeah. He'll look at legit kids' toys, and there's nothing wrong with that. But he's also not trying to sell them, you know. Um, but see, I like 
if it comes to that, I actually prefer Ben's collectibles at this point. Um, very similar, you know, his son plays with a lot of the same stuff and he's always in, in with his unboxings because he, he, he orders stuff from Sir Toys and a lot of times they'll throw in like extra hot toys and not hot toys, hot wheels or small little figures and things like that as extra. And those usually go immediately to the son. And then like his son has gotten to the point that he's like almost got his own reviews going <clears throat> and there's nothing wrong with that. If I had a kid, I would absolutely be using them. And That's I, and I th that's how you can get the views. Yeah. Well, I already told you. I think I'm pretty sure I told you a long time ago. If and when we eventually do have a baby, I will yeah. absolutely review the baby. <laughs> I, I yes, will point. I remember out, you saying that. Yeah. I was like, of course, I will review the baby. I'll go over articulation. I'll go over details, um, all the flaws. <laughs> you know, it's like it you sucked. You got to keep feeding it every couple hours, or the noises start going off for no reason. Are you gonna um, have a build vlog? Oh no. <laughs> yes, but I can only upload it to certain sites. I mean, technically speaking, I could just just from the outside, it's like, yeah, it's, it's in there, it's getting ready. Just have just have uh I just won't I just won't video the injection molding. <laughs> uh, it, it went does, further than you wanted it to. <laughs> Does does wifey watch these? No. <laughs> okay. But I can tell her. Oh, by the way, uh, we're trying to organize it out or organize an Ask Miss Shoki video live stream. Oh, that'd be cool. Because uh, she hasn't been on to do anything since Lupus for Lupus. Yeah. Um, not to mention with trying to get her into Avatar. Um, I want to get her thoughts on it as we go. Uh, Joey collects kids. Shoki reviews them. No, because the shipping would be hell. <laughs> well, I mean, unless you catch them coming over the border, I'll check them out and then send them on your way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so we can do I, that. So a miracle just happened. I finished nope. another weapon. Yeah, but it's a bazooka. It doesn't count. It's completed nonetheless. Now Look, build the other two. I, I'm wow. praising you, sir. You finally did it. Good job. Uh, I mean, you mean the other three? Magnums, yeah. Uh, yes, we have talked about... Sorry, Andreas. We have talked about the next MG Verkov. We all know exactly what it is. We talked about it in detail when you weren't here. So you're going to have to go back to the beginning of the video, rewatch to the point that we give that information out. Yeah, I don't remember where you gave away the big reveal. I think it was at about an hour or two. Uh, hour but... two? Hour two, hour and two oh, minutes. Yeah. Um, however, I could be wrong. You'll just have to go to the beginning and watch the MG Barbatos unboxing to, to <laughs> go from there. Yeah, um, yeah by I the mean, way, there was an unboxing for everybody who forgot about that a long time ago. We, came in we could just tell you again what it was, but we really think it's better if you like watch it from the beginning and it builds up to the big reveal. Like the rest yeah. of us had too. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Um, cause we talked about all the other reveals that are coming up this week. Cause we all got that information leaked. Yeah. So if you really want to know what these five days of, of, uh, announcements are going to be, we go over all of that as well. Um, I'm not lying. I would never lie to my subscribers. Um, that Ben is lie. dope. <laughs> ben is dope. I'm more into his KO stuff. Yeah. Ben's KO collectibles is kind of funny. He set up a whole, uh, knockoff channel. That's fun. Yeah. But he actually has it his because Ben uses his face as his uh, uh, logo <laughs> combined with an Auto Autobot logo. So he has it on his KO channel. It's a pirate face and stuff like that because he's doing that. He leans he leans into the KO stuff. It's pretty cool though. I'm not gonna lie. Like certain KO things, I'm okay with as long as you have the originals. I say it's fine to buy KO. Yeah. But if you're just buying KO, I don't want to know you. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. That's like people talking about uh I got it in the comments about MP44, you know, the the last version of Prime. It's super expensive. But the guy was going to buy the Flame Toys one, which is a fantastic Prime. But it doesn't transform and it doesn't fit the need of a G1 collector in any way shape or form. But it cost roughly the same as MP44. 
But he's like, I'm just going to wait for the KO to be done, and then I'm just going to buy that. <coughs> and I'm just like, I can't, I can't support that ideal. Yeah. Now, if Hasbro or Takara rather was smart, they would release MP44 as just Prime, the trailer, his weapons, and maybe Spike and his dad. And that's it. Get rid of all the other junk that nobody really cares about. And, you know, we don't even need the extra stand. We don't need a lot of the stuff that comes with the trailer, you know, because most people don't even use the trailer at all. Like, yeah. you could sell them without the trailer, and most people would probably be okay. Um, and then drop it to like 200 bucks. Yeah. Because essentially, that's what they did with Nemesis. Their Nemesis is coming pretty soon. And it doesn't come with a third of the stuff, and it's only like 200 bucks, 250 bucks. So they they missed the mark with giving you way too much. But for me, I see where the money goes. Yeah. Also, cut out the electronics because honestly, how many people care that much? Give us a slimmer, slimmer backpack, lose the voice box. You know. Uh, did they ever release the child size MP Prime? Are you talking about the. Uh, uh, I forgot the name of it. There is like a three foot MP10. It's uh, is it Llewellyn? Something like that. I think it's like Llewellyn. It's huge and it's cheap. A lot of people have bought it. Well, I say cheap, cheap for its size. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's huge though. Uh, boo, that's what Walmart did with the G1 reissue Prime. No, they they charge you too much for the G1 reissue Prime, and I missed it when it went on clearance. I was mad. So I wanted that G1 Prime, <clears throat> but not selling it. Not selling G1 Prime. I see what you're what? doing down there, Corin. <laughs> what is he doing? He just busted out his uh, his box of the full armor unicorn. I'm assuming he's going to be building some weapons. Yes. What did you not build? Uh, all the weapons. Oh, so you only built the shield weapons? Well, I mean the beam magnum and the bazooka. Yeah, yeah. I told you to go build your bazookas. You've got um, two bazookas, a bunch of missile racks, some grenade launchers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Jerry says it was leaked by the same dude yeah. that gives DJ Soundwave his info. Oh, might as well put this on now. Actually, what? Saying oh, that it, that the Verka is star winning. <laughs> star winning. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I realize I can't. I gotta take the uh, insides of this, the legs out to put these uh, missile racks on this thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's got different thing in the yep. bobs. Oh, well, they're not going on this banshee, anyways. So that's good. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't be opposed to more MG build fighters kits. We didn't get enough of them. Yeah. I really, I really want to see uh, uh, a masquerade of the um, what was it? The what's the final strike variant that the guy had? Was it the Galaxy Cosmos? The Galaxy Cosmos is the last one that we got that was in that movie. Oh. Or OVA. The uh, uh, last the, one they the, had in the series I want to see Master Grade of. The last one in the series was just the Build Strike Cosmos. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah. It was on screen for like two seconds and really didn't <clears> look <throat> any different. It just had <clears throat> the cool glowy stuff. Um, Isn't the Galaxy... like the, didn't we only get the full package or whatever as a Master Grade? No, we got, we got the full package, but then there's an. You got the universe booster. The, you got the oh, star. The yeah, you got the star star building. Or star oh, okay. Build. I just haven't seen it then. Yeah. I want a, star a build. build I have it right there. Hold yeah. on. Oh, actually, I can't. I, I can't point it out. It's way down there behind my uh, GN arms. I oh, want okay. the, all three of the build burnings. All of them. M I would not be opposed to that. MG high mock. <laughs> yeah. That'd be great. Let's do that. I have, I have like four of those things. Why? Can we get an MG of that? Uh, uh, what's the one from uh, Try the the one where like they trans like a bunch of little machines transform into the big one? It looks kind of like uh, uh, that's the that's the uh, damn it. If you hadn't said anything, I'd know it. I have it. I have the other one, the Dryon three. Yeah. Yes. I mean, oh, wait, off, that, that's the Dryon three. Double Zeta. Right? Huh? Are you are you talking about the SDs are, that are you talking about can... the SD one? No, the other one, the the one where it's like the the animal type mobile suits. Yeah, that's the Tryon three. Is it? Yeah, because it goes all uh, super robo to to yep. the combination form. I have so, it right here behind me. Okay. Actually, I have the I have the uh, I have the other one. I have the black and gold one. Yeah, you are correct. 
All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know. That. This, I, kid, yeah. this kid. This kid. This fucking kid. This doesn't... kid. Do you know who you're talking to? Oh, I can't remember which one it was. There, there Get was, off. Was Get up. I'm just booted. Fucking booted. No, but the fact that they gave us a new double Zeta, they could have even they could have based off the old double Zeta for anybody who care. Try on three or dry on. It was try on was the yeah. initial. Dry on was the black and gold one that I have. That's the next for car. It would be cool. <laughs> it would go be- with the double Zetas. Why not? Uh build strike uh, looks too busy. Build strike was fine. I built build strike and regular strike together. Yeah. And now I don't have either one, kind of. Technically, my build strike isn't even a build strike anymore. It's mostly a regular strike with the build stuff thrown on it. What did you do? What did I do? I kit bash stuff. Yeah. I I did my double O build strike. Uh, oh. Big sword, big sword version. That's right. That's right. Big, yeah. big sword. That's right. Yeah, I took the seven swords weapons and added it to my double O build strike. Oh, okay. And I took the universe booster and added the twin drive to it and put that on a strike. Yeah. I am going to hop off for the night. Get the fuck out, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> bye. I purposely didn't say bye to him. I wanted them to, I wanted them to feel like I was angry. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so Tryon is the only thing that connects the two build worlds. No. Tryon, Tryon was only in Try. I am, confused about, I am confused about that comment. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Jerry said weird things. Uh, MG Build Mark II backpack was designed to be released separately. Yeah, they never did, did they? They only did it in the HG size. Um, I don't care. I didn't like the Build Mark II anyways. I think I think that they could have done a lot more. Like, you know, any would have been great. <laughs> but I don't know if Carlos is leaving or just saying bye to Joey. Um, I think we got three MGs from all the build fighters, XCS Strike and Red Warrior, and that's not counting uh, oh, yeah, P yeah. Bandai variants. Yeah. You forgot about the you forgot the Fenice. Oh that, that does exist. Huh? Yeah, so they got yeah. four. You got four. Stupid. I, mean, I, I didn't realize that was a, a master grade until like a couple weeks ago. Yeah. What I'm amazed with, uh, Bandai dropped the ball with the build MGs. Yes. Sorry. I thought he was going for a ball joke there. Um, I'm surprised we never got um, sorry. Uh, oh, MG bear guys. I mean, how Is hard would that have oh, been? Wow. Yeah, we never did. I mean, at guys exist. MG at guy existed. Oh, it wouldn't have been. It would have been what? Three runners thrown into an at guy kit. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, H two Magnum is not from Build Fighters. That's from Divers. We've gotten less Divers kits than we got fighters. I would, I would love to see a mass rate of the uh, double O Diver. Mm, I'm gonna have to look at that. Jerry says that the Tryon appears in the final episode of Diver Series 1. That should lie in part of the Tryon appears when they meet in real life during the final episode. Mm, gonna have to look back at that. Nobody wants a mega sized bear guy. That's literally just a teddy bear. Put your hand down. <laughs> I like the core Gundam. Still. Yeah, I don't think they would go so far as to give us a core Gundam MG. That's just me. I, 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 I want to see a narrative Gundam Master Grade. Personally, Hon- honestly, that'd be cool. Not gonna lie, I think it like the base narrative Gundam, but not the rest of it. Hold on, I have to go. Do I, I would. I, I could totally see them doing uh, the base one and then having like add on kits. Yeah, that didn't work out too well at the HD scale. <laughs> well, I got to turn this this way. There we go. Well, it didn't um, work out too well because they made them all like P Bandai. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! Look at this. So, oh, because I'm on I'm on <clears throat> I'm on Chrome. So I pull up YouTube. Yeah. Search for build divers, and at the top is Gunpla listings and ads. Oh really? Yeah. 
Okay, so build divers. Don't want the dub. Dubs are stupid. I don't want to answer questions. Just take me to the thing. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to go to final episode. Just, uh, no. I, 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 oop, there we go. Mute that because I definitely don't need to see it. And less HG divers kits and more MG dicers. <laughs> dicers. Okay. Oh, there was a one eye. That's funny. Okay, so it would just depend on where it was in the battle he's talking about. I'm thinking it's the final battle in the city question mark. Okay, so this is where they meet up in real life. Hold on. Also, Maggie, super creepy in real life, walking up and putting his hands over Riku's eyes. I, I am convinced that uh, he has a JoJo reference. Oh, oh, 100% JoJo reference. Not even, not even. Where is this? He's talking about... Uh... Oh, the, the irony would be... Okay, so if there was actually what he said, if it was the Riku try-on, it'd be funny because the main character's name is Riku. Yeah. But I don't see what he's talking about. He said there's a statue of it when they met up in real life. They seem to be near a zoo, so that's interesting. Also near the Gundam base, I guess. And yes, I don't want I don't want you guys to watch. Probably get copywritten if I actually show this thing. MG Moob Gundam. That would be interesting. That would. Not gonna happen, but it'd be interesting. Now watch it happen while I was looking away, probably. Yeah, so, there's Shardier showing up. Hold on, I'm still scrolling, still scrolling. I don't see it on the shelf. He said there's a statue of it. Oh, a statue. Yeah, like, they're in the bar. This is when they met up in public. Okay, so that's how, now they're talking about Sarah and all that. I'm going to turn off captions. I don't need that garbage right now. And there's... I've Bill. never once. This is my first time hearing the dub for this. I not even. But I'm trying to figure out the which part of the final battle he's talking about in the last episode. Like, there's so much. Like, there's so many random uh, things. Just so many random things in the final episodes. Oh, there's the polyball. <laughs> Polypod ball. Yeah, there was that. There's the polypod, the, uh, oh, what is that thing called? The, uh, you know, I'm trying to talk about that. St Stormbreaker? Is that what it's called? Might be. Okay, so. Oh, there's a Zeta type. And you're on the final episode, right? Yeah, yeah 25. Th yeah. Obviously, guys, not going to bring it up because I don't want, uh, no, I didn't want that button. No, 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 no. Not that. Not that. <laughs> Accidentally hit the cast button instead of the. Oh no! I was like, let's not do that. Okay, so this is where the weird, corrupted devil Gundam thing is breaking everything. Guy dresses Char. Yeah, was, I'm pretty sure it's Stormbreaker. Because I wanted that kid, I never got it. Trying to get past the intro. Did they ever make a kit for the like the the gate like an SD kit for that game master character? Uh he's based off a really old kit. Oh is way he? back when. Yeah. They did not make an updated one for the game master. I'm kind of disappointed about that. Yeah, a lot of people are. Okay. I'm just still waiting to see a try on. Now, the thing is, we're ignoring the chat, so hopefully he's not throwing out extra. Stormbringer. Other one. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Uh, Easter eggs don't count. There you go. <clears throat> he's from Super Defender, the uh, the uh, Game Master. 
Oh. I'm not. I mean, was it from a previous scene or was it definitely in the final episode? Like, because when they had all of the cameos previously. When they were battling Team Avalon, I figured there were more cameos. Okay, let's go right there. Because then I really start showing off more stuff. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing there. Well, see, the other thing is, build fighters as a series might exist in this universe. Yeah. Like, that might also be included in the fiction of this universe. Okay, there's a grimoire, which is still fantastic hit. Uh, Team Avalon, guys. Them flying in. Still waiting to see. Okay, there's those guys with their seed kits. Where are you at? Are you still watching it? I am skipping around trying to find this thing. Okay, so there's a shot with a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. So let me back up here. Okay, so there's a Gion Krieger. That's where it was. That's the first time I've seen that. What? Well, the Gion Krieger that oh. P. Bandai kit was from the series, and it's right there in that scene. Okay. There's the Destiny Impulse. Uh, tons of other seed kits. Uh, Sharzaku. Zagaya. Big, big ridiculous SD guy. I remember that one. I always wondered where it came from. I never knew it was from this. Oh, I think I'm just behind you. I saw the Sharzaku just now. Oh, oh, okay. No, no, no. Here it is. It's a recolor of the Tryon. Oh, but it's it? actually yeah, it's a recolor. It's a uh, white, yellow, and blue, and it's the Dryon. Okay. So in this world, it's not that it's is like more than likely it's a fiction, but also yeah, these. Well, these is, isn't it, isn't the build Dyrus and fighters in the same universe? No, or? no, it's not the same universe. Okay. No, it's not. Um, it's definitely a separate universe. Or else I would have just kept calling it build fighters. Fair. Enough. Um, but yeah, no, okay, I forgot about that from when I watched it the first time. That's how much I blocked out that series. So yeah, it's there, and it's in a really weird recolor, but I think that's a reference to a custom build, because that's another thing they tend to do, is throw in people's, like, GWBC builds, or GBWC builds, mm -hmm. as references. Um, I so paused I think... just the right spot to see uh, a really disturbing picture of a, a SD, and it's, it looks like it's got a Zaku-themed hand, and an yeah. RX-78 themed hand. Yep. Wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, was that the... I skipped way too far. <laughs> Yeah, because we, I don't, yeah, we weren't really reviewing the series in the same way that we did back in the day. Okay, that is, I just realized that's an enact with some pretty heavy firepower there. Yes, I'm just, okay, so there is the, or at least what is basically like the Gamma Gundam, kind of, but it's actually just a Rick DS with some custom shit thrown on it. But yeah, okay, so he was right that it's in there. I just forgot about that. That was so long ago. Hmm. But it also doesn't count because it's not the same universe. <laughs> Shock Gundam. That's what you were talking about. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that was in that in that uh, Build Diver series. They had the guys who all had the combining uh, SDs. Yeah, the green one? Hmm? The green one, right? No, they had different SDs. They had like uh, Zaku and oh, uh, oh, that one, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, There's a couple of combining ones that confuses me now. Yeah, right next to real type color, Grandpa. Real type or the uh, prototype, one way or the other. Yep, Superior Defender Gundam Force. Wiki claims GBD episode twenty five. Yeah, but it's on literally like four frames, so it's really hard to miss. Uh. That was it called? I believe it's the uh, the Astray No Name, the one. Yeah, uh, yeah, that, that thing looks pretty freaking sweet. Yeah, but a kid is terrible. Is it? I never had it. Go watch a review. Um, Build Divers is this one of the few I've reviewed most of the Build Divers season one kits. 
Series 1 kits. Uh, Bill Divers' first Gundam anime TV series where protagonist and tag characters from side story mangas appear in the main show complete with their voice actors and mechas. I wish they could do that more. Yeah, it's funny because they're people pretending to be those characters, so that's why we always get the Patrick cameos. Uh, it's unbelievable. Awesome. It's recolored. Look like original super robot based off of... Okay, that's fine. Uh, expect Gamma Gundam to look like a frog. Yeah. No, but yeah, no, it's... It's fine, but I, it's not connecting the two series. Like, they've made it pretty well clear. Like, even in the Divers universe, they had something similar to how fighters worked, but it's not the same system. Either way, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. I'm kind of sad. Unboxing was supposed to come on and hang out. Originally, he was supposed to be just the person I was talking to, and then he just got busy, I guess. Uh, Gravion, where's where it gets his V-Friend from? How does voice actors from the manga work? <laughs> but I, 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 I listen to my manga voice acted, you know? I mean, when you read it, don't you hear the voices? <laughs> when I read comic, when I read comics, I definitely hear actors' voices. If I read, if I read Batman comics, I definitely hear Kevin Conroy. When I read Batman. I just now realized the uh, Verkoff full armor uh, has two beam magnums and two bazookas. I just, I mean, I should remember that, but I forgot. But you don't have to build them all. I must. Wait. Yep. <laughs> Wait a second. Do I have parts? <sighs> I think you've just thrown more stuff in one box. Might have. You might have done it. Either way, guys, thanks for coming and hanging out on this random live stream. Uh, now I'm seeing animated characters with word bubbles. Oh, God. <laughs> um, but, uh, of course, thanks thanks for coming and hanging out, Sam. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was fun. Um, and then, obviously, like I said, in a couple weeks, guys, if you want to join in on a um, Zoom build night, uh, it'll be a couple weeks from now on Saturday. I'll make posts about it. It was kind of fun. Uh, unfortunately, we're only like four of us, but you know, we'll get more people on. Um, uh, Hida, I mean, Build Divers provided the cameos with voice, unlike Shiho and Destiny. Whatever that means. He was just poking. <laughs> he was just poking at the fact that you said manga voice actor. <laughs> but anyway, guys, y'all have a good night. Um, stuff and things are happening on the channel. I, I don't even know. I, I'm pretty sure there's a statue review tomorrow on the second channel. Hey, go subscribe to the second channel if you haven't. We're over 190 now. I think I got 191. So we're got to catch and beat uh, or surpass, rather. We got to catch and surpass Rodimus. We cannot allow him to stay ahead of us. We are the Shoki Nation. Let's stay strong. So go subscribe to the secondary channel. And to the guy who who mentioned that I should, it was rude of me not to share the link to his channel in the description uh, from yesterday's live stream. It's like, it was a random thing that he came on. It's not like it was planned. Go to every other Sunday live stream for the last six months and his link is in the description. <laughs> so y'all have a good week and do all the things. Do, do the things, build, build the thing. You don't have to build the thing, but build the build the thing. Build all of the things. But not everybody here does buildings. Mentally build all the things. Because some people are just nerds, and therefore they should just keep on nerding. Everyone else, they can keep on building. But then altogether, we should just build this community. That's building the things. That's a very different way of me doing my outro. <laughs> so.